Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are we doing? I hope you're all well. Uh, I think I saw Mitch. Welcome in Mitch. Welcome in Mad Dog. Welcome in Katia. Welcome in Hester. Welcome in LX. How are we all doing today? Uh, yeah, this game doesn't ha quite have that level of music. Uh, Katia will say that. So on Fridays when we play this game, we mute the game. Uh, we mute the, all the, the city sounds and we just stick on some ambient music. What we've been listening to right now is not ambient music. I've got a new uh, like 80s playlist that I'm using on Pretzel right now just to start the streams. Let me head over quickly. Let's find our ambient playlist. Yeah. These are very good for a, for a Friday. For us all to unwind on Friday. Can we hear that okay? I'm hoping that's coming through nice and clear. Uh, yeah, so taxi, Barcelona, sunshine, ambient music. This is how we roll on Fridays. Welcome to the weekend, everybody. Welcome to the weekend. You've either done it or you've nearly done it. And if you've nearly done it, I'm going to get you there. I'm going to guide you the whole way through to the end of your work day. That is my solemn vow. That's what we do on Fridays. It's how we do around here on Fridays. But if you've already done it, congratulations. What are you doing at the weekend? What's the plan? What is the plan? Take me there. Take me there. <laughs> Welcome in, Stump Papa. Enjoy your lurk while you work. Hopefully the ambient music will keep you nice and uh, keep you company. Uh, I done did it. Well, well done, in some. Well done. Sam Janko, welcome in. How is uh, Harold Halibut treating you? Nobody in the world has that trophy yet. Still, that trophy is unclaimed. The one for the uh, the notepad or the notebook. Nobody has that platinum yet. I'm like two trophies away. But that one, I think, is going to be a complete replay. And uh, you never know. I might go through it again and still not get all the notebook entries. It's very tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to uh, PSN profiles, look up Harold Halibut. There is a trophy with 0.0%. Let me show you, actually. Do you know what, Mitch? Let me show you. Maybe somebody has it. Maybe it's changed. But why don't we take a quick look? Why don't we do that now before we go in? Not point naught percent of the platinum, as you can see. You can just see it over there, not point naught percent. And I have one of the rarer two trophies. No one has that notebook. Nope, that's the one that's stopping everybody from getting it. But I have this one, which when we got it yesterday was not point. 0.3% of people have it. It's up to 0.5. The dizzying heights of 0.5% of the people who play this game now have this trophy. So this is the one I have, though. Exchanger, arranger. Um, I think according to PSN profiles, I was the second person on planet Earth to get it. I imagine a lot of other people got it before me, just didn't update their PSN profiles yet. Um, but yeah, it's kind of wild. Busybody. We can do that one. It's quite straightforward. Uh, this is the one. The notebook, nobody has it. Nobody has it. Katia, do you mean Harold Halibut? It's so good. I recommend that to anybody. Superb game, 12 years in the making. And they killed it. They absolutely killed it. Uh, Harold Halibut is treating me beautifully. I've nearly finished chapter two. And I've got all the notebook pages so far. How do you know though, Sam? How do you know? It's cozy taxi term. It sounds like the opposite of crazy taxi. Gold, I'm going to play crazy taxi when it comes out. The new one that they've got in. The, I've seen the trailer for the new one. I think it might be next year, but I'm definitely going to play it. Definitely going to play it. Uh, yeah, Katia, how are you doing today? I hope you're well. Um, it was a lovely hanging out with you last night. Um, yeah, I think you might get a real kick out of Harold Halibut. It's that kind of psychedelic game. It doesn't start that way. You think he's kind of like, um, he's a bit of an average Joe. But yeah, the more you go into that story, the yeah, in more interesting it gets. Yeah, Jet Set Radio could be good as well. I've not played it. I've not played it. I've chucked out a couple of shout outs for some of the lovely people who have crept in the door already. Uh, Stump Papa is here, so I will give Stump Mama a shout out. Uh, do, do, do. Go oh, soon. get smashed. Headshot, bro. I've been. Jenko's here. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm running. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go back down. Another head. See, going up to it. Are you taking a picture of it? I, I tried. 
There's an attachment in the Discord in the gaming chat, which shows all the notebook pages. <laughs> yeah, but that's all the ones that that person has found. That's not all the ones, because they haven't got the platinum. That's all, they've, they've put all the ones that they've found. Um, yeah, they still might be missing some because they haven't got the trophy. Maximum cheese. Uh, to get what they have so far yeah because i've got ones that they don't have that's the interesting thing they i think they've got some i don't have i've got some that they don't have so yeah it's a confusing system right before we continue let me put the music actually down to here right is that a good oh sweet is that a good level this is so funny can you hear like, the music nice i'm not encouraging nice and clearly sort of and can i be heard over it that's all i need to all needs to happen the i need to be heard over the music i've never had a hype train uh, it can be as oh loud God, as you like as long as dying. i don't have to compete with it. <laughs> but, yeah. can somebody clip this i feel like this is just representative of sounds perfect very nice alex how are you doing today well it was perfectly balanced good 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 i think i've got a good uh, good eye for it now as all things should be said Danos. Uh, Alex, how was your day going in gold? Um, I'm sorry, I know you were streaming some Tekken yesterday. I think you were just grinding, but I, I couldn't be there in time. But I hope the grinding went well. I hope the learning went well. I spent my entire stream chat. <laughs> I mean, I think because I do this every Friday, I might not do this next Friday in fairness because Stellar Blade does drop next Friday. But um, yeah, I've got the eye for it now. These are our, these are our welcome to the weekend streams. They're kind of, uh, you know, I mean, everything else in the stream is always up for grabs, you know, depending on what games come out. But I think these, oh my God, it works. The stunts purchased the beanie mug. Oh my, God. that is so kind of you, Stunt Papa. Thank you so much. And Stunt Mama as well. You never know. That could be a mug scene on stream at some points in the future. Thank you so much. I'm glad it works. I'm going to have to like minimize it slightly. But that's the first time anybody's bought something when I've had the thing on screen for it to be bought. You know. Um, I, I, do you know what, Stunt Mama? I don't know if it's a surprise for Stunt Mama, but I won't, I, won't, I won't say anything. Glad it went. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very kind. We've got two of those mugs that have been bought now. Two of the, uh, the beanie mugs. I'll have to tell Riddy if they come in. Uh, okay, let me just check. Everything's looking pretty good. Everything's looking pretty good. Right, shall we begin? But uh, I'll keep it a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, just to let everybody know, we're not particularly going for trophies today, but there are three sets of trophies in this game that seems to just happen automatically. We've got the level, level 25 in the bottom left-hand co left corner. We've got the distance ones. The next one will be for the 500 kilometers one. And then after that, it'll be the number of passengers. We got the 75 passenger trophy last week. And this week we may get the 100 passenger trophy, which should be popping up any second now. There it is. So these are three trophies we may get today. But yeah, we're just relaxing today by putting them up there anyway. Still struggling. Today hits hard every year. I'm sorry, Alex. I'm sorry. I know you mentioned what was what it, what was on the way, um, but like I say to everybody going through these kind of things, just do your best to live a good life. That's the only way you can combat things like that. Just live the best life you can. Um, and yeah, if you need to body double today, if you need to just have some, if you want to listen to some ambient music and relax with us, um, feel free to. But yeah, don't think we... Uh, so let me skim down. I mean, it, it's, you know, I just want you to know that it's not necessarily a chronic related thing. We mostly talk about that kind of pain here, but um, we still really appreciate you. And if we can give you any, just, just being around people today might be the thing that you need. Just being here with us, not necessarily saying things, just lurking and listening, but we're here for you. We're always here for everybody, Monday through Friday. If you ever need to talk about anything, it's what we do here. But yeah, I'm glad we found you, Alex. And um, yeah, I just hope, I hope it gets easier, you know. I think they say time heals all wounds. I don't necessarily believe that. But um, yeah, things that can help. 
it can help a little bit just to take the edge off. Um, but my heating down slightly. This one, I don't know if it's a bit too fast paced for the ambient. I might take this song out of the uh, playlist. Okay, the next one's about to start anyway. All right, let me catch up on chat. Uh, I was playing an infamous game from Square Enix made in 2021 on my PS5. I, I love the infamous games. I've got the four platinums for the infamous games. They're very good. She's really easy to keep out of the loop. Uh, playing a Balan Wonderland before I got my VR headset. I've not heard of that one. I can relate. Every March 17th of the year is hard for me personally. Um, uh, this is very triggering for some, fair enough. My annual date is January 8th. I think we all have at least one. Be gentle with yourself and know that you are not alone. Well said, Katia, well said. Oh, not that infamous. Oh, sorry, yeah. I think you meant one of those infamous games. I love those infamous games. Right, just one more thing. There is a, um, in the title description, there is a way for you to be a passenger. It's a command you can chuck out into the world and you can be a passenger. So uh, feel free to throw that in if anybody wants to ride. We'll start by seeing who we can find. So I've got to remember how to drive first as well. It normally takes me a second. How are you, darling? You all right? Okay, Minister Gold wants it. You got it, Minister Gold. Let's go and find you. Uh, here we go. Julio Torres or Julio Torres. It's got a bit of a cooldown. Not a long cooldown, Stump Up. A bit of a cooldown. But it'll give me a chance to uh, pick a few people up. All right, let's go down this. Oh, I didn't even book you. All right, Julio Torres is Minister Gold. There we go. Let's go and grab you. We're in six-seater today. The good thing about the six-seater is it's electric, and it means that um, certain passengers, they want, um, they're, they're actually traveling in groups, like big groups. So this is a good one to use. It allows us to do the big trunk missions, or I, should, I shouldn't call the missions in a game like this, should I? It allows us to do the big trunk missions where they've got lots of luggage, uh, where they're traveling a party, the six-seater missions, fares. And uh, the other one is, some people only like traveling in an electric car. So this is kind of like a triple threat, you know? Uh, are we going this way? Some of these roads are a bit weird. It's all very one way, so I get a bit confused. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a few more before the end of the day though, Mitch. So I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> wouldn't worry about that. I know we've got a lot of uh, people who enjoy the crashes in here. I know Missy likes the Moida as well. We might get a few more Moidas today. We'll see how we go. Right. Get that indicator on. Yeah, this is going to be a very relaxing stream. I remember last Friday, it was Ambient and Barcelona, and I was so relaxed after listening to like five hours of Ambient music. It was fantastic. Yeah, we like our lo-fi, but something about the Ambient has caught the community these past couple of streams, which I really like. I like the intro music being 80s uh, themed as well. Uh, the good thing about pretzels, they've got quite a few different playlists for you to kind of find what you like. So, uh, yeah. Right, Minister Gold, we have arrived in the big six seats. Oh, we need to pull in like this. Let me take a little bit of a wide, a wide entry here. Any plans for the weekend? Oh, we do have a new weekend command as well, God, just in case you haven't seen it. Um, plans for the weekend, probably a lot of pizza, probably a lot of sports. Uh, my team kind of threw the league away last week. By the way, how was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was... <laughs> <laughs> my team threw away the league last weekend and they threw away the cup midweek. So my team are kind of fucked at the moment. So we're playing this weekend, I think tomorrow evening. Fingers crossed we can start, you know, winning again. But it's a bit of a sad ending to the to the season, I will say. Right, which way are we going? Let me just pull out of here. Let me check I'm not going to get murdered by anybody. Oh. Oh, I think we've uh, immediately offended gold because there's a bug on our windshield. Let's take this down. <clears throat> there we go.
Okay. I was expecting a ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. I think it's five minutes, Stump Pup. And maybe it's a little bit too long. I'll have to uh, tweak it as we go. Okay. Try not to kill anybody within the first few minutes. At least wait an hour before you kill someone. I mean, when Missy's here, they're basically, you know, coaxing me into doing it. Oh. Weekends are so comfy. Welcome in step one. We just had it. I think that one must have a little cool down as well. But welcome in step one. How are you today? It's lovely to see you. Here. I can probably turn the uh, the wipers off. Well, we're going again, so I haven't got time to do that. We're taking Minister Gold for a trip. If anybody wants a trip, eventually, I think Stump Hopper is definitely going to be next, but eventually the uh, cool down will, the redeem will have cooled down and we can do some more trips for people. I think we can actually buy another taxi today, which would be nice. I might, I might be too wide to go around here. My taxi's too girthy. There we go. Just park that there for a second just to catch up on chat. Uh, no weekend for step one. Oh, step one. Oh, I thought you meant something was happening this weekend, but you mean the command, don't you? I used to work in retail, so I worked every other weekend. It was brutal. I bet it was. So glad I don't work in retail anymore. Uh, if you buy another taxi, do you hire other drivers, like hiring a crew in the normal sim? I think at the moment we have three other cars and three other drivers. So yes, we've got a nice little uh, little empire, a burgeoning empire in Barcelona for sure. Uh, step one, how was your day going? Let me chuck you out one of these. I hope you're well. We Benji, did very good. Nine out of Why ten. My review is in the Discord. Um, I didn't change the score, but I went from an eight no, bread. up to a nine like after bread. yesterday's it final stream. Like toast. Toast. <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, you know that. Give me a moment to get the toast. toast. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> there is a trophy in that you know, game I'm step one that nobody on planet Earth <laughs> has yet. I've got every trophy except three. Two are too easy to get, but there's one that nobody's got yet. Yeah, we're in the empire building business. Oh, we had trouble with this last time. How do we... It, it doesn't let you turn them off again. Uh, oh, L stick to turn it off. R stick to turn it on, I think. All right, let's go. Right, I think I need to be maybe over on this side slightly. So this car will let me out. So I've got to turn left. We're getting gold to his uh, Tekken tournament. Uh, Stump up. I'm hoping the command should have cooled down by now. I'm hoping. If it hasn't, we might <laughs> we might have an issue. If you want to try it again. How are you, darling? You all right? There we go. Right, Stump Pop, you'll be the next passenger. Oh, a bit laggy there. A little bit laggy on that turn. Oh, this is weird. A lot of trees, yeah. Maybe that's what caused the lag. Maybe there's some popping. 
Oh, I'm looking at the wrong light. Trying to keep it within the lines. I should probably be in the other lane. Easy, easy, easy. Handbrake, there we go. No flying cars today. This used to be Flying Car Central, this location. But sadly, they've patched them out. I quite enjoy. <laughs> I quite enjoyed them, but uh, it's all right. It's probably for the best. Barcelona is living in the year 2100. Oh, have we been? Hold on a second. Metal Crazy, thank you so much for the uh, raid. How are you doing today? Welcome in, Raiders. I'm chucking a quick one of these. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it over the music, but maybe. Welcome in, Raiders. If anybody needs to hydrate, get snacks, get away from screens, take your medications. It was very nice do. watching you play the Binding of Isaac. Is very, I very hope important. you're well. If it's anybody's first time here, why don't you tell me something about you? Let's get to know each other. One of these as well, for the great man. I missed. No! I recognize that horrific noise. Must be lies of P. Oh, me old, me old friend, the nameless puppet. <laughs> My dear, dear friend, the nameless puppet. Uh, Metal, thank you for coming in. How was your stream? Hope you had a nice one. Welcome in, Raiders. We're listening to ambient music and driving around Barcelona today. It's a relaxing. Uh, stream. Oh, why did I not pause it? Am I just sat in the middle of the road? I am, aren't I? That was the win. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, today's a welcome to the weekend stream. Ambient music. Driving around Barcelona. If anybody would like a lift in the taxi, there is a command in the title of the stream. I think it's on a cooldown at the moment. But um, yeah, welcome in. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Congratulations. Very good. By the way, how was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was... <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Step one finally gets his weekend. Right, still getting gold. This is still the first journey of the day. Stretch and hydrate, good call. Very good call. Bit of self care, bit of post stream self care. Always a good idea. We're getting gold to his Tekken tournament. Yes, you do, Metal. Congratulations. As of today. Uh, Dilly, welcome in. How are you, friend? I hope you're well. Metal, you're a good friend. You're a very kind person. I've met a lot of lovely people through your streams, through your raids. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Well deserved. Right, Gold's uh, Tekken tournament is right down here. Gold, we're nearly there. We've nearly done it. <laughs> no bumps. Might have gone through a couple of speed limits. No red lights as far as I'm aware. We'll see how we did. We'll see how we did. There we go. Like a glove. Oh, it's such a pleasure having you as a, as a passenger. How do we do? Four stars. Look at that. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for the first lift of the day. Not too shabby at all. Uh, 
Do, do, do. Back in five. Welcome in, Jerry. Jerry, yeah, tell me how your day was. How's the week been? I know you're a very hard worker. What's the plan for the weekend? Uh, next Thursday, I'm doing Suicide Squad on stream. You'd be very welcome to join me for that if you like. I'm probably going to try and get um, Deadshot up to level 30. Um, and potentially try and get the... Find some uh, Riddler riddles. Maybe the final Riddler trophies. But yeah, you're very welcome to jump in if you'd like. Getting over a severe throat with antibiotics and trying to keep a toddler Tamagot. Oh, God. Th sore throat to the worst. There is a very different, different pain to those, you know. It's like nothing else. They really... Oh. Yeah, that's a very aggressive pain. Hopefully you're getting through it. Hopefully the antibiotics are working. Hopefully you can enjoy yourself um, at the weekend. But you're very welcome to be with us today. It's a pure relaxation stream today. Ambient music. Uh, driving around Barcelona. Yeah. My mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. Perfect emote for it. But yeah, I'm sorry. Finished my third assignment yesterday. Sam, great. Fantastic. When did you get the marks back for your second assignment? This has been another week from hell. It is one problem after another. I'm sorry to hear that. If we can give you any relaxation today, Jerry, any rest, if you need to vent, we'd be we'd be very much open to listening to your vent if you need to talk about anything that's happened. Weekend plans are to rearrange my sec uh, the second story of my house and play lots of Witcher 3. Jerry, I love it. Good call. Very good call. Right, Stump Papa, it's your turn. Not a bad start to the day, only one red element. Should be back next week. Perfect. I'm looking forward to hearing Sam. Looking forward to it. All right, let's go this way. Um, oh, I wish the camera would like stick behind you. Right, Stunt Papa is going to be. Not many people about right now. Uh, Stunt Papa is going to be this person. How close? Are, how close are they? Oh, I'm just getting a whole load of emails about copyright claims being released, which is good news. Uh, I don't think that one, because we're not, it won't let us put the put a root down. <clears throat> yeah, I can't put a root down there either. Let's try this one. Hmm, I don't know why it's not letting me put a root down. Maybe I need to be stationary. There we go. Oh, actually, this person's nearer. Here we go. Stump Papa, you're going to be Claudia Steiner. Claudia Steiner. Oh, Marco, welcome in. Good to see you again, friend. Welcome back. Marco's a new friend from the uh, from this week. Uh, just getting to know them. They're getting to know us too. So make sure to give them a warm welcome. Sarah, welcome in. I see you there. I hope you're well. How's your week been? Uh, I have the liquid penicillin V and it tastes horrible. I guess that means it's working. Yeah, that's the rule. I would love to take a taxi ride. Uh, a ride in a taxi with a panoramic roof like that. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's very awkward to turn. It's like turning a tank or a boat. But it, people like it. People seem to like it. Rarest Platinum. You'd have to look on PSN profiles, I'm sorry to say. I cannot think off the top of my head because I, I have trophies that are rarer than my Rarest Platinum. So I, I don't... It might be Stranded Deep. It might be Stranded Deep. I'm not sure. Uh, doing well. Doing well, Marco. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. I am Claudia. <laughs> busy. But a good kind of busy. Sarah, I think this is... You've hit, you've hit something on the... Um, You've hit the nail on the head there. Sometimes being busy is really good because it can get you out of your own head. That's the that's why I like to be busy. You know, you don't have time to um, be stressed or be sad or be depressed. It can just, if you're busy, you, there's no time for any of that, you know? Not as, yeah. I don't know what it is. I just, there, there is a good kind of busy. I know exactly what you're talking about, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm good, thank you. Dove into dredge yesterday. Oh my God. Game of the year last year, as I said to you, Marco. As I said to you, game of the year, 2023, no doubt. L fucking loved it. There is the Pale Reach DLC, which is out now, but there is another DLC, Marco, coming out sometime this year. It's something to do with rigs, like oil rigs. That's all we know, but 
day one. I'll be streaming that day one when it comes out, particularly today. For some reason, yesterday was difficult. Um, I think um, LX, LX today for them is difficult. It's it's a date for them that um, you know they have that has significance. So we're there's a lot of that going around at the moment. But um, yeah, you know the drill, Sarah. You know what it's like here. Particularly today, it's a relaxation. Welcome to the weekend stream. Ambient music, taxi driving. There is a redeem if you'd like to be a passenger in the car as well. Uh, we're just going to pick up Stump Papa. But yeah, you're always welcome here. Let me give you a shout out as well. If you like, uh, you know, the UK accents, you might appreciate Sarah. I'm stuck though. I'm trying to figure out... How to fish the abyssal ones oh, out of the water? One of my arms, the yeah, not everything, that. everything will come to you in good time. Everything will come to you in good time. That's all I'll say. I don't want to spoil it for you, but um, yeah, just let the game happen. Yeah, go. I, you might have gone to like the wrong secondary location. The one you're supposed to go, I think, is in the southeast, and then you kind of move clockwise. So yeah, but it, it'll all happen when it happens. Don't worry about it. It's a game that you shouldn't rush as well. Just just bask in it. Just fucking... I, I go back to that game from time to time just fishing. I forget the stories even there. I just fish. It's too perfect. I hope they make 10 DLCs. They won't. But I'd play all of them. I'd buy all of them as well. I'd buy a full sequel at double the price that I bought the first game. It's, they're too good. Right. We're going to go and get Stump Papa now. Let's go. Oh, that red car tried. It absolutely tried, didn't it? Are we going down here? Is this the way? Doesn't look right, but yeah, okay. Looked like I was turning into somebody's uh, driveway for a second. Oh, um, Sarah, by the way, we have an emote. We have an emote. Uh, all in capitals, P-L-A-T, and then underscore H-I. Um, it is getting animated as we speak as well. Plat high. Oh, no underscore. No underscore. So I, I might have said underscore instead of lowercase. I meant lowercase. Uh, one of my favorite video game things is chill gameplay with background cosmic horror. And I can't think of anything that qualifies more than dredge. Yeah. Cosmic horror. Yeah, dredge is... What's they, what do they call it? Lovecraftian... Lovecraft in horror, like I, I love what they've done with that game. Thankfully, it's lovely and sunny in Barcelona today. That will help us all. I could do with it being a bit warmer in uh, the UK. It did try last weekend, in fairness. <clears throat> it did try. Oh, I think, am I supposed to be? Hmm. Can I still turn from here? Is that okay? Is that allowed? <laughs> Watch as we get T-boned. Okay, somehow we're okay. It's been quite nice here today. It was 20 degrees last Saturday. It's been eight degrees here today. So it, it looks nice. I don't know if it's just like the wind chill or whatever. Um, yeah. Just can't quite get that heat. I need it for my joints. Really need it for the joints. Uh, from time to from time to time, but yeah, it's mostly from the AI. Yeah, they they love a crash. They love bumping into me. That's for sure. I have killed a few people. I can't lie, but um, we're getting a lot better at not killing people. There was that infamous time where a guy walked, like I was stationary, and a car walked. Uh, a guy walked onto my bonnet, and I got penalised for it. I was completely stationary. That warmest we've had this year is 13. So it was probably, if you can imagine, it was 13 on the Thursday, 15 on the Friday, 20 on the Saturday for probably about two hours. 
And then Friday on the 15 on the Sunday, 13 on the Monday, we've been back down to single figures. So yeah, it's it just cannot make its mind up. But we've been back down to single figures and I think uh, the warmest it was today was maybe about 10. But yeah, it's just, yeah, I need the heat for my joints. Need it badly. My uh, My grumpy, rusty joints need a little bit of heat. Right, Stump Pupper, I think we're about to pick you up. Oh, rode the pavement there. Uh, it was trick weather, like, that got me cold last spring, yeah. Yeah, I think the last time I saw you stream, actually, you said you felt like you could predict. You, at this time of the year, you normally got ill, I think. You, you were kind of predicting it or something. Uh... Right, Stunt Papa or Claudia, we're on the way. I think I've got to go left first. We've got to go, basically, it's all one-way streets here. So we've got to go around in a big square before we can come back to exactly where we are now. And I'm going to try and obey all of the road rules. What do you think of the music, Sarah? Always looking for feedback. I don't actually recall, but last year I definitely got sick my birthday week. And this year I really do not want to. I've got plans, man. Important plans. I hope, I hope you're able to do them well. As in, not ill. Hey, up, Platt. Hope, you have a, uh, hope you've had a good day. Yeah, haven't had, had a great day, actually, yeah. How's yours been, Monkey Nutsky? If anybody wants a lift in the taxi, there is a command in the title, and you can be the next passenger if you like. Taking Stump Papa to work at the moment. By the train station. is pounding so hard that I just spelled my name wrong in an email to the CEO. Yeah, Jerry, you need to take care of yourself, man. This weekend, do the rearranging, do the gaming. But yeah, just eat well, drink well, hydrate. Yeah, take care of yourself. Started eating my dinner at 6 p.m. Perfect. What are you having? Been a crazy week and I'm finally getting a chance to sneak in, going to just body double and lurk. You've picked a perfect day for it, Austin. It's a Friday welcome to the weekend, ambient music and taxi driving and Barcelona sunshine stream. So you picked a very well, uh, very good choice. Uh, no food after 6.30 and 8 a.m. Why is this? Did, have you mentioned, are you, are you fasting for some reason? You may, have, you may have mentioned. Welcome back, Metal. Tagira, welcome in. How has your day been, Tagira? You're just in time for a nice bit of uh, ambient music and relaxation. Let's get you to that weekend as calmly as we possibly can. I just chose that time to fast. Fair enough. Fair enough. We had somebody else fasting. Um, I think their neighbor was fasting, so they chose to fast with them, um, which was quite nice. Uh, 
If anybody would like a ride in the taxi, there is a command in the title. And uh, you can be the next passenger. Fasting's very good for pain, I've found. Okay, 300 meters. Two hundred meters. Coming in hot. Oh, I think this one's just on the road, which is nice. No no weird turning or parallel parking. Here we go. Here we go. So how did we do? One, two, three, four, five stars for Stump Papa. Nice chunk of change. Ooh, speed limit breaks. I don't mind the speed limit breaks. Uh, Tagira's day was good. Glad to hear it. Did you have any nice food today, Tagira? And anybody else, if you want to answer that question, you're more than welcome to. Uh, Monkey Nuts had spicy pork and rice. How are you, darling? All right? Nice. Looking forward to seeing who that is when I, get, when I scroll down. Um... Sometimes I do 44 hour fasts. Uh, fasting is fun. Yeah, I've done, I've done some for pain. Um, when you've got rheumatoid arthritis, if you have like um, acidic food, obviously your blood is acidic and it will make the rheumatoid arthritis a bit worse. So two ways to combat that are having an alkali diet or an alkali smoothie is how I do it. But also kind of micro fasting, you know, not for too long. So I'm, uh, I don't like to lose any more weight than I've, you know, I don't have much to lose. Um, but yeah, fasting's good for, for pain, actually. 24 hours to start, then build up to 40, but with water. It would help me lose some of this weight I have. I find 40 for ideal. I get lightheaded after that, mm, I can imagine. I can imagine, no worries, monkey nuts. It's nice to learn these things. Right, Marco is the next passenger. Alkali smoothies, Austin. I'll even give you my recipe if you'd like. Right, bananas, avocados, spinach, uh, sea salt, is good in it. Now you can either go, you can go two ways with the water that you go in. Coconut water is good, but also um, you can have uh, beetroot juice or beetroot in general. And I would have thought beetroot because of the color. It's got to be acidic, right? It's got to be acidic. No, beetroot is good. It's alkaline. But yeah, I, I tend to go with the uh, the coconut water. It is great to lower inflammation. Also, a great to reset for weight loss as next time you eat after you get full quicker. Be Austin, I thought it was crazy as well. I thought it was crazy as well, but, but yeah, anybody that's interested in my alkali smoothie recipe, bananas, avocado, sea salt, um, spinach. Um, I think you can put like nuts in as well. I think it was, um, I forget the type of nuts, but they're going to. Ginger, I've got an intolerance to. I've got an intolerance to the ginger, I've been told. Uh, but yeah, I either go uh, beetroot juice or coconut milk. Or sorry, coconut water. Um, had the same reasoning as you for thinking it was acidic. I don't know what it is. It's just, you know, the, the purple. They eat purple. You know, everything else that goes into it is you, you, your bananas, your avocado, your spinach, your greens and yellows. And I just assume it was acidic, but yeah, not. Anyway, uh, Marco, where, where are we going? You can choose. Let me see if I can find you first on the map. Let me see. I think we've nearly got enough money for another taxi, actually. So that's quite exciting. Uh, is this you, Marco? Uh, Sophia Ramos. Avocado is the greatest. All the bright colored berries are acidic. It's why I figured beets were too. Yeah, it, 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 um, take a look. Like, read, read up about it as well. It's fascinating. All right, let's go grab Marco. We're coming to get you, Marco. When we get to you, you can tell us where we're going, if you like, or I can make up something. Whatever you prefer. 
think we've got to turn here. I'm, I'm in the wrong lane, so we're taking our life into our hands by just uh, edging out here. Okay. Not too shabby. Oh, I just missed the green. Here we go. Oh, I think I need to be in this lane at least. Actually, I'll just, I'll just edge out into this lane as well. As well, I'll just annoy everybody. gonna drive through every lane are you gonna oh this this pedestrian is gonna give me heart attacks are you gonna walk right out in front of me i feel like you are aren't you had to pop away how's my road going uh i think yours was a i think yours was a four star we got you all you needed to go we had all greens except one red so yeah you'll have to check the vod to see how well we did but it was pretty good actually yeah you were pretty happy Right, let me, before I crash into something, this is Marco. I would have given you five, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Right, let's try and pull out of here. Pull out game is strong. It was a, it was a five. Oh, so did we get, who was the four? Somebody was four. Must have been the first one. Perfect. Right, Marco, this is you. Did you tell us where you're going, Marco? Oh, yeah, gold was the first one. They were four. Yeah, so you were five. Oh, Marco's a chatty one. Uh, I like it. Let's say the people. narrow streets yeah. look at us getting along like a house on fire all right Marco did you tell us where we're going where's the destination Marco and friends, apparently. There are four people. No, we've picked up five people. Marco, it's you and your whole family going somewhere, apparently. I'm just going to casually weave through here. Are we taking... Yeah, it is here, isn't it? Wherever the winds take us. Fair dues, fair dues. Oh, I think I'm breaking the speed limit. I might have just gone over the speed limit. It's from um, the ambient 
station on uh, pretzel rocks. The actual st song should be the one just above your comments, I think. Uh, it's behind, it's, it's literally here. It's behind the camera, unfortunately, so you can't see. But I think I just, I, when I looked at it, it was 70. I may have just gone above 70 though. Try not to get hit. Oh, is a pedestrian going to get squashed by that little van? I don't think so. Nearly. The pedestrians in this just love to get squashed. That's their whole thing. It's their kink, but we don't kink shame here. They have zero self-preservation instinct. It's quite, quite something to behold at times. I think we're doing well, but I'm going to guess the one thing we fail is uh, speed limit brakes. As I said, we used to listen to lo-fi uh, for our Friday relaxation streams. But the last couple, we've uh, moved into the world of ambient music. And I really like it. I think it could be here to stay, but we might pivot back and forward between the two. It's very relaxing. Yeah, I've, I think they've got like hundreds of ambient songs, but I'm cultivating something that a little playlist that I like um, within their larger playlist. Um, I'd like to add a few more, actually. Try and add 10 new ones every week and maybe take out five that just don't quite fit the vibe. Has anybody got the next uh, journey? There is a command if anybody would like to be picked up in the taxi. It's in the title of the stream. I think Marco is the last person that redeemed. Their destination is wherever the wind takes them. The wind has taken them here. Ooh, red light. How are you, darling? All right? Sarah.
like a glove. There we go. How do we do? One, two, three, four, five stars. Uh, Going to bounce, get ready for Phasmo. Have a good stream. LX, I appreciate you. And uh, we're always here for you. Anytime you need us, we'll always be here. Right, five stars. Uh, client patience, 97 out of 100, which means I think we're only about 3% over the time that the journey should take. So that's pretty fucking good. Oh, would you look at that? Using blinkers, stopping red lights, respecting the traffic flow. Speed limit bonus. We did not break the speed limit. Respecting areas not available to cars. No big collisions, no small collisions. Uh, we've got 785 euro, which I think means we can go and get another car. Shall we? Should we take a look at the map and see how close we are to a... Uh, Let's head here. What time of day is it? Oh, it's actually very nearly time for us to rest as well. It's getting to it's getting a bit late in the day, and I don't like to night drive in this game. So we'll go up to the garage. We'll uh, get a new car. And we'll get ready for the new day. Having a little sleep. Oh, is it? Damn it. pedestrian I see you are you coming or going gonna head out try and find out how many uh, how to progress in dredge do your best yeah I think um, you want to go if you've started in the marrows you want to go southeast and all your answers should be uh, in the southeast I think yeah same to you Marco see you soon Welcome in Aziz, uh, how are you doing today? I hope you're well. Is this a game you're interested in playing? Oh, so I guess then the one you want to go is Northwest instead. Northwest, yeah, then your answers will be there. Good, making good progress though. Uh, Aziz, yeah, tell us something about you. I hope you're doing well, hope you're having a lovely day. We are getting people ready for the weekend with some nice ambient music and some taxi driving. How are you doing today? Right, we're gonna go and pick uh, go and pick Sarah up now. Let's go. Oh, we're actually gonna pick up Sarah tomorrow. We're gonna just sleep for the rest of the day, I think, and hit it hard tomorrow. Then we'll grab Sarah. I can wait. If I uh, escort you anywhere in the night time, Sarah, we're going to end up in a ditch. So, yeah, it's for the best. Trust me, it's for the best. <laughs> they, I mean, you do get headlights, but no. No, I just prefer the, the, the lovely, you know, sunshine. Oh, you changed, you changed lane several times. You changed lane several times there, I did see. Very late decision to change into that lane. Mitch, I told you we'd get some, uh, some damage. Good time zone, good time zone to you also. How are you doing today, Dragon? It's lovely to see you, I hope you're well. Uh, are we going down? I think it must be this. The system here is very odd. I think it must be this one then. Is it this one? I don't think it is this one because the lights are showing. I don't know, we'll have to see. I think it must be this one. Because sometimes when you get um, the bit to our left, the, like the multi-lane situation, because everything is single, um, like one way in the city. Sometimes you'll get those and three will be going one way and one will be going the other way. And I find it very confusing. It never feels right. I 
the brakes did not like that at all. I'm just going to power through. It's fine. Once you take a bit of damage in this, your brakes get a bit, a bit shoddy. Dude, are you brake checking me or what? Why have you stopped there? For what purpose have you stopped there? We're heading into rush hour now, that's why it's getting a bit busier. It's a green light, guys. I just sat there, sat there waiting. We're going to be able to buff all this out. It's fine. 
It's going to look great. A little bit of buffing. I'll be fine. Oh, why are you just parked there, dude? Try. At least try. Thank you. Thank you for trying. pedestrian Nando's takeaway for me nice Sam very nice what are you going to be playing this evening that was close yeah they love they love to test me that's their want in life in this game it's just to test me Right, we're at the garage. Perfect. So here we go. Right, let's get a new taxi first and foremost. In the world of good old Harold Halibut. Very nice. I will do that for you. Good, and then we're going to go to cars. Ready to use to buy. Here we go. So we've got six grand. We can buy one of those. Six thousand five hundred. Oh, do you know what I think we'll do? I think we'll save a little bit more money and get another one of these. Yeah, I think these are probably our favourite car, the SMC. So we need five hundred more euros for that. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll wait to get one of those. The good thing about these is they're small. They're very good for the um, the nipping around the little the side streets, the thin, narrow little side streets. So I'll probably get one of these. Uh, have to write a new scene in my book. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do some more day job first. Problem solved. Good call. Good call. Yeah. Um, I hope that goes well, though. I hope I hope, I hope you're able to uh, figure something good out. How's Cuphead treating you? It's mistreating me. But I did beat another boss last night. And I did a... I, did, I beat my first boss for... World 2, and my first run and gun for World 2. No, sorry, I've done two bosses in World 2 now. And I've done my first run and gun level in World 2 as well. Uh, we're getting there. We're, we're making small progress. Little strides. Uh, yeah, okay. I think the last thing we need to do is rest. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Got to rest first. Rest for eight hours. And we'll rest for seven hours. Actually, six hours. Okay, it's 7.58 a.m., Sarah. We're on the way. We are on the way. Oh, I had to pay $1,000 out to, or uh, euros, I mean, for salaries. That's fair enough. Okay. Check swatch. Here we go. Right, now where is Sarah? Is this Sarah? Gloria Mitchell. This is you, Sarah. Got to run conference calls the rest of the afternoon. Have a great rest of stream. Good luck, Jerry. Good luck. I hope, I hope you can get through it. And uh, yeah, when you're playing The Witcher 3 all weekend, you earned it. You absolutely earned it. Uh, I'm going this way. Easy now. We need to get 1,500 euros today, Sarah. So we can get our next taxi. So let's, uh, let's go and give you the ride of your life and see if we can get a good tip. Fancy indeed. <laughs> I like, oh, wait a second. 
the uh, sat nav changed my direction for a second. I was very confused. I like this law building, Sarah. Big fan. You're not too far away, actually. <laughs> I mean, that's city living, isn't it? Truth, truthfully. People in London, it's all about using the tube and taxis and Ubers. No personal vehicles. Nearly a bad time to look at chat there. We nearly re rendered them. What have you been playing recently, Sarah? Nandinos has been ordered. Perfect. What do we get? Old Cat Quest and Tomb Raider off, uh, on stream. Darkest Dungeon off stream. I think, um, I don't know if you know Indy. They've been playing a bit of Darkest Dungeon on stream. Um, <laughs> if you'd be ever interested like in watching a bit of that, that happening. enjoys all these. What? Okay. I need to sit with this for just a second. That was a short hike. I think I was in that stream, actually. Right, Sarah. This is you. Oh, my parallel parking's let me down here somewhat. <laughs> mm. Oh, I was close. There we go. Just about, just about got there. All right, before we begin, let me just catch up on chat. Medium four are boneless chicken thighs, Perry seasoned chips, garlic bread. I'm not, it's, Nando's has never really been for me, actually, no. I've always found their food a bit bland. I know the point of it is to have bland food, but then pour all the sauce all over it to give it the flavor, but it's never, I think if I was gonna go out and have chicken, I'd go out and have KFC. I, think, I find it to be infinitely more flavorsome. Uh, as an American, I'm always arguing in favor of public transit and never getting anywhere. Um, I meant to put a map actually up on Discord for Cole because they were talking about the fact that um, they love more trains in America. And the map I was going to put up on the Discord was basically the United Kingdom. Um, the whole, you could say it's like the, um, like the trains here go to every corner of the United Kingdom or like Great Britain like they get they go everywhere and it's kind of like our circulatory system um they're so convenient and the, it just you know everybody does their own thing but I find it so weird that America doesn't really have that that coverage because they go everywhere I'm two minutes walk from a train station right now like two minutes walk it's it's astonishing to me Although I look like a soccer mama, so my theory's out the window. Man, I love trains. Zero trains on the island I live on, yeah. I am um, big fan of trains. I think they're fantastic, super duper helpful. Right, let me see if we can pull out of here without, without bumping into a car. I feel like we're gonna be rear-ended whatever I do, so. Okay. <laughs> I think we're okay. I think we're, 
We're on the road, Sarah. We're on the way. Uh... Oh, it's not actually that far. You're only about uh, 600 meters away from where you need to be, Sarah. Saying that, it's a one-way system, so knowing my luck, we'll have to go in, in a complete circle. Yeah, we're currently driving away from your destination. Let's see if I can go over here without any problems. I think I can. How Japan oh, love how Japan created their trade network and just created tunnels that matched how the mold grew on the map <laughs> that is wild that's absolutely wild <clears throat> so last week we took Sasha um, Sasha was a passenger and they wanted to know how, like, I can't remember what they said. Was it how, they wanted to know how quick we could go or whether we could kind of do any road rage or just, you know, do anything a bit chaotic. So we did one of the speed challenges with Sasha in the back and we absolutely totaled the car. So when you say, well, I'm not dead, so we're looking up, there's every chance Sasha went through the windscreen when our crash, we had to, time was of the essence. But the problem was I went with the big blue six seater. I should have switched down to a little city car. But yeah, we've um that was that was a low, <laughs> that was a low point for a platy duck cabs. A low point. So we had a full green light there and the front car just did not go. They decided they were too cool to go on a green light. Great. <clears throat> Would you like to hear about a stressful taxi ride I had, Sarah? Or will that stress you out? So I was entitled to medical, like a medical taxi to go up to have treatment every fortnight. This was back in maybe 2021. Um, I'd go up, have like a four hour treatment, um, go home again, same next day. Um, and I had to go back, have back to back days of treatment every fortnight. And anyway, one, because it was COVID and because I'm like, you know, a high risk individual, and this was like back right in the heart of COVID and stuff. And I was masked up and I was like, one day I was in the taxi, like putting the window down just to like get some fresh air in. Just to, I, was, I was very concerned about the whole taxi situation. Um, and the guy stank of smoke, the taxi driver. And so, yeah, I'm putting the window down to get some fresh air in. It was getting too cold back up. And anyway, the guy absolutely explodes like up or down, pick one up or down. And I was just like, no, I was like, I was like, no, this is not the guy. This is, this is not the guy. And so I, I uh, never rode with that guy again. I talked to the, 
the medical taxi. Um, like the people in charge of the taxis. And I was just like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, this is just not what I'm looking for. Um, it wasn't a normal taxi. These people like trained professional um, like health taxi drivers, like medical taxi drivers. And yeah, he just absolutely went berserk. Yeah, it was quite funny because I told um, I told everybody at the, uh, I think it was G4S. Do you know G4S? They were the company in charge of it. And um, I was just like, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not, you know, not saying, not saying fire him, not saying suspend him. I'm just saying I am never to be matched with this guy again. And they're like, fair enough. And about a month later, they would, the drivers would always call when they were approaching the hospital to pick me up. It was a big, one of the big London hospitals. Anyway, I got the call. And it's his voice. And I'm just like, no, mate, no, 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 no. He's like, what, what? And I was like, no, 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 no. So I got somebody else instead. Cat to the vet. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine cats don't enjoy public transport that much. I can imagine that sends them a bit, a bit over the top as well. <clears throat> I think I see a gum gum in the chat with my peripheral vision. Gum gum, nobody's got that trophy yet on Howard Halibut. Harold Halibut. Nobody's got it yet. It still remains unclaimed. I need to do a 10 hour Saturday YouTube stream and just mission it out. I was reading some really interesting forums though last night and people are just like, yeah, I. I no, nobody has a clue. Some people are mapping the ones they've got. Um, a lot of people have just given up already. It's fascinating. If there was a way to tell how many there were total and how many I'd got, and if the if the chapters had like a little tick where you'd got all the ones from the chapter, I'd probably give it a go, but it's just an absolute guessing game, I think. Uh, boop. Okay. Uh, so Sarah, how did we do with you? Five stars, Sarah. 100 out of 100 for client patience. So we got you there in very good time. Uh, speed limit bonus, no small collisions, no big collisions. Driving against the traffic flow. Uh, the worst I got was the driver one time being a, a cat anti-vaxxer. Oh my goodness. So they were giving you a bit of their mind, some opinion on uh, how you thought you should be treating your cat. Is that right? As relaxing as always I see. Gum gum, particularly Fridays. Fridays are particularly relaxing here. They're the welcome to the weekend streams. So yeah, a bit of ambient music. A nice relaxing game on a Friday. That's how we roll, yeah. Uh, no, you don't. You can do it. Not even been a week and given up. Week. I mean, I imagine just counting all the pages in the notebook is the max amount. I think you're right. I couldn't tell you where the ones I missed are. But I think going through chapter by chapter and going to every room, in every chapter. And then after you've done any kind of engagement with somebody going back to every room in every chapter. So it would be so laborious, but I think it can be done. Uh, Shannon, welcome in, it's lovely to see you. How are you today? I didn't respond with anything other than, hmm, yeah. Yeah, Shannon, how are you? Shannon, did you like my story in three acts last night in your, uh, in your Discord? <laughs> It was 2 a.m. and I was just like, I need to tell somebody. I need to do something here. At least you'll get the 15 hours by then. Yeah, I'm curious whether they 
because I've beaten the game, the 15 hours. I don't know whether it's still going or not. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, so I got, I was going up against somebody Von Bonbon bon last night, the, the one of the bosses on World Two in Cuphead, and I got within within that, and then I got within that again, and so I put both images on Chan's Discord, and then I eventually got it, and so I it was entertaining, I enjoyed it, good, yeah, it was a story in three acts, finally beat that that absolute so and so, um, and. The problem I found with World 2, I don't know, I don't think it's a spoiler, Shan, but tell me if you want me to stop talking about it. You're presented with three bosses when you start World 2. And when you start World 1, you've got, I think, two bosses and a run and gun. So I was like, oh, you're going to have to, you're telling me I've got to beat a boss to unlock a run and gun. So I beat the first boss, like, was it the end of last week? And it didn't unlock a run and gun. So then I had to beat another boss and finally unlocked the first run and gun of the second island. So then I went to do this. I did that as well. So I've got like three different weapons now. Uh, two bosses down. Jesus Christ. There's a boss I've just started. We unlocked the runner gun and another boss last night. And this set, the next boss is bird related. That's all I'll say. Fuck me. That is just. <laughs> the problem is you think when you when you start the boss fights in Cuphead, you're like, okay, so they've got this weapon. This is a weapon. And this is a weapon. Got it. And then you get like a quarter of the way into the boss fight and they bring out two more weapons it's just like you don't need any more of these weapons you're already an absolute killing machine it's obscene it's obscene uh fatigue has been kicking my butt so i've been sleeping pretty much all day how are you i'm doing well i got out of bed at about 3 p.m today uh for similar reasons very cold here uh we're down to eight degrees um i just need the warmth for my joints when the warmth gets into my joints I get like double the energy every day. The rheumatoid arthritis just gets eaten away by the heat and I, my energy will, will kind of double in the summer months. So I'm very much looking forward to that. It feels like it's been a long, it, you, it, it would be harsh to call it winter now, but it feels like it's been a long time without some actual heat, at least where I am in the world. I need some. Uh, funny how cultural norms get into you. Just think about when I lived in Italy for several months, taxis were extremely routine. Moved back to America, and after a tiny bit of culture shock, I've redeveloped taxi anxiety, really. Uh, I have health anxiety. I think that's what it's basically referred to as. So um, when I was having these medical taxis, like I was saying, there was always the looking at, like, looking at the person and kind of judging them. I, I thought, you know, are they going to be like, you know, are they vaccinated? Are they this? Are they wearing a mask? Are they not? And so I'd always basically have the window down and be like, like practically hanging out the window. Um, yeah, it was it was a thing. It really was. Right. If anybody wants to be the next taxi, um, the next fare, there is a command in the title. We have just dropped off Sarah. We've also had um, Stump Papa was a, um, I think it was Gold and Stump Papa, then Marco, then Sarah. So if anybody wants to be the next passenger, feel free to jump in. That was a pretty good one, Sarah. We got 500, um, just under 500 euros from you as well. So we're nearly, it's nearly time to get another taxi. We are up to 5,400. If we can get another 1,000 euros, we can get another taxi. Tell you what we might do. Should we do a challenge? Actually, I'm going to go and, probably good to fill up the car, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go get um, 500 euro. Damn, one expensive taxi. Had a very nice taxi journey. Thank you. You're very welcome, Sarah. Um, yeah, we're going to go here, charge up the car. We're going to um, wash the car as well. And then we might do a challenge run. Maybe we'll do this one. And the challenge runs will always go really slow or really fast. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, enjoying is probably too strong a word. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, something. I I'm, yeah, I think it's become a pride thing already. But the one thing I was really happy with is I actually eventually beat what's her name Von Bon Bon with an A minus. So I think there'll be another trophy for beating every boss on A minus or higher. So that's one I won't have to return to. Good day, sir. Uh, I said good day, good lurky sir. turkey. Have a great stream. Clap chat. Lovely to hang out as always. Appreciate you, Sarah. Appreciate you. Yeah, I've got the second superpower now as well, but it doesn't seem to be very good. 
I need to I need to figure out how it works, I think. I was just telling Gum Gum before you came in, Shannon, there's still a trophy in ha uh, Harold Halibut that nobody's unlocked. The platinum is, has been achieved by nobody. got pulled away from the chaos of work to do a special project because my co-workers don't like doing them. It is almost 30 minutes of waiting on stuff to load. Can you tell us what it involves, Austin? I wonder who will be the first ever. Yeah, me too. I've only got three trophies left, two are easy. But then there's that notebook one. Uh, Hash, welcome in. Lovely to see you, friend. I hope you're well. Hope your partner's well as well. How's your week been? Any, any nice food today, Hash? Any nice food? Weekend is going to be sport-filled, pizza-filled. Ah, small as well. Welcome in, small. Good to see you. Congratulations again on last night. My dad is a Villa fan, as I told you. I was talking to him about it today. Yeah, I watched the penalty shootout. I think you're the favourites. You've got to be the favourites left in that competition. I think you've done really well in the league. I'd, I'd rest everybody in the league now. I just go all out for uh, winning the conference. That's just me, just my opinion. Uh, installing a new pin pad in an ATM tech on site does the install and then I do like five minutes of computer work and a lot of waiting well that sounds that sounds quite restful a little bit of downtime for you to pop in and say hello we always appreciate you Austin could be worse the waiting yeah you can just do some uh, some relaxation in the waiting time Such a flatterer. Martin is a suspended, is it? Um, I don't even know who your backup goalkeeper is. Are they any good? I was interested to hear that Martinez is the first Aston Villa player that's ever been in a World Cup final. When are you next thinking of streaming, Shannon? And what game will you be playing? Are you going to be just sticking with the dev tile uh, times for now, do you think? I respect that if you are, because I know you're kind of very much in the zone for those. I still didn't watch back your, uh, was it Polar Pass? I didn't watch back the Polar Pass uh, dev time yet. 
Okay, so what have we got here? I think we've got a charging point, which is good. Have we got a car wash, though? Oh, we do. Good. Uh, we'll do this first. Uh, yeah, green energy, full charge. Boom, let's do it. That's good. And then we will just go reverse back here. Robin Olsen. Never even heard of him. Time to make your name. Time to make a name for yourself, Robin. It's time to make a big, big name for yourself. This is very narrow. Am I meant to be going in this side or am I meant to be going in the other side? I'm going to go in the other side because, yeah, I don't think this is right. The Sweden Keeper, interesting. Maybe um, Gibbsy knows. Maybe Gibbsy knows them. Nice. All right. Oh, no, I'll go backwards. I think. Can I go through here? I guess I can. Should we try challenge? I think we should do a challenge because you get a thousand euros for a challenge if you do it well. <laughs> we might we might fuck it up. It's either going to be very quick or very slow. Um, we'll try our best though. Go for it. Let's do it. I I have done such a piss poor job of navigating this area. <laughs> This has been not my finest moment when it comes to uh, washing the car. Or getting getting fuel. As they say these days, send it. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll send it. This one is like steering a tank. So... Uh, Dragon in a trench coat. Thank you so much for the uh, the lurk over on YouTube. I appreciate you. We went through another YouTube milestone this week. We're slowly ticking them off. We might get a lovely present in the summer of uh, YouTube partnership, which would be very nice. <clears throat> oh, pedestrian. Just decided to walk across when we've got a green light. Thank you so much. Oh, one thing I should do is get this. Oh, damn it, I cancelled the wrong one. Fuck. Right, we'll go to this one instead. Irene Monedero. Yeah, it's not too far. <coughs> How do we think Irene wants it? Fast or slow? I think she's going to be somewhere, someone that needs to get where they're going quickly. So she's going to be fast. Irene, I will do my best not to kill you. My solemn vow is I will, I will try. Maybe you'll get there in one piece. Maybe. These lights are changing very quickly.
Ooh. What were you up to, white car? What were you up to? Just be grateful for my superior driving skills. It meant that we did not collide and you don't have to pay my insurance bill. You're welcome. nearly at the challenge. I'm hoping they want it to be a slow journey because they're not feeling well. I mean, we get paid a lot of money to do what I'm basically already doing. This is an, this is a tank. It doesn't really respond to quick, sharp braking, which is what we're gonna need to do to navigate these little side streets if they want to go somewhere very quick. It's going to be carnage. It's going to be carnage. Uh, it's going to cost me a shit ton of money to get my car fixed up as well. But we'll see what the gods decide. The uh, the taxi gaming gods. They might demand the sacrifice. I understand it. Right, here we go. Let's find out what we need to do. I see you there. Oh shit, in a hurry. Right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's quite close. That means it's probably going to be navigating through tiny little fucking one-way streets and shit. Get the fuck out of my way. Ooh. Oh, please, dude. Please get out of my way. Beep, beep, beep. No, we're going too slowly. We've got to go 40 or faster. Fuck. Shit. Oh, we're going so slowly. Oh, break. Oh, did I miss it? Oh, fuck. I missed the turning. Shit. Ruined it. Ruined it. Fuck. So close. Yeah, when we're doing a speed challenge, we don't have to obey the laws. Oh, I did it perfectly. I just went one street too many. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see on... Oh, you can't really see on the map. Let me take these out of the way. Yeah, all these tiny little side streets in the bottom left-hand corner... They are, they're like strands of hair. I never know which is which. I just went one too many. Look like a legit taxi driver to me. Nuclear Prez, welcome in. Good to see you, friend. Yeah, we nearly got some good money there, but instead we got a fucked up car. That's the risk with those. That's the risk. Uh, yeah, well spotted, actually. Let's go and do it. Our car is in an absolute state, so they might... I don't know if this um, game penalizes you for taking jobs with a wrecked car to say what where is it is this one way maybe if I reverse down the road oh this is the wrong one Again, exactly like last time, we've gone down the wrong fucking one. Uh, I'm looking for like the green glow. Maybe I've got to mark it down. Oh, fuck. Right, let me do this.
I find it infinitely easier to obey the glow. Let me mark you down. Maybe that's why. Oh, this is a hard one. Yeah, there we go. There's the glow. There's the fiendish green glow. Oh, this, is, this is a hard one. So it's going to be quite a long journey. Just don't kill us, okay? I mean, we'll, we'll do our best. Shit. Oh my god, it's tough to steer this bitch. Ooh, nearly. Nearly. Oh no. Oh no. Get out of my way. Coming through. Oh shit, this is wrong. This is definitely a one way situation. Oh god, it's so narrow. Fuck out of my way. Is it this one? Or is it this one, the last one? Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Fuck. Uh, shit, move. Oh, the car's... Oh, I couldn't restart the car. Fuck. That cost me so much money. Oh, damn it. We got there, but that was not pretty. Cost me a lot of money fucking that up. Uh, we got... We got 800 euros, not too bad. Oh man, if I'd missed, if I'd have gone in, in here, we probably would have got over over a thousand. Uh, yeah, two stars, unsurprisingly. All right, let's try this one. The car is in a bit of a bad state. Uh, you complete this one at least, yeah. I think we are now at 6,050. So if we get to 6,500, was it 6,500? I think that's the price of the next taxi as well. We're gonna have to pay to uh, get our taxi fixed up. Am I missing, yeah, again, I've gone too far again. I need to learn how to read these little roads. I always think I've picked the right one, but I never do. That's rough. Yeah, they needed to get there very quickly. The rules be damned. So I think a lot of that is hazard pay for me. And truthfully, I think repairing my car most of that money will be gone. Uh, I didn't, Sam, no. No, it, I, I want to love that game. I really do. It's incredibly difficult. Um, the amount of times I've gone out in good faith, doing, it, doing a journey, picking up a bunch of materials, and then you, you know how you, you have to get these like, um, like shining globes and you put them in your car and you'll create a portal for yourself to exit. The amount of times I did that and couldn't get to the portal in time because I'd get like a flat or I'd get caught behind a rock or something would happen, I'd just die. And the amount of times I've died in that game, like on even like at the basic locations, um, I think a lot of people's response would be, well, you need to do better. You need to go out with like a stronger car. Yeah, I do that. And then I go out and I lose my car and I come back to the garage with like nothing because you can go back and grab all your stuff in the location you die, but you have to go out with a shitty car because a lot of your best um, like wheels, your best doors, your best um, bumpers and stuff will be on the, the shell of the car. So yeah, it's, it's a horrible repeating circle of me never being strong enough because all my strong new um, awesome like things I add to my car keep getting lost um, it's, it's, in, it's incredibly infuriating but I, I want to beat it I want to be good at that game but I've kind of given up on it at least for now anyway um, it seems like a really good story but just yeah it's so much it's the, 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 it, you have to really think about like the minutiae of the game like really working on your car constantly um yeah, some of the enemies that you come up against will just destroy you. Absolutely ruin you. 
Um, what about you? Did you ever go back to it? after? I know there was a patch that either broke it or made it better for you. Did you ever go back to it? Yeah, it seems like a really cool game. Really good idea. Just super fucking tough. At least for me. I should have changed car. I should have picked my, my small nippy city car. Well, these would be a bit easier to do. Glad I got the refund, to be honest. I initially thought it was a survival game and had to survive disasters. Didn't expect all these intricate mechanics. Yeah, it's um, it's 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 like a really really good game on paper. I just it's just too hard. It's too hard, and some locations you go to, and um, they're dead ends. That there's no, I think this is the same person, isn't it? Yeah, this is the same person. Yeah, there's some places you go that don't have a way to portal out as well. I got caught out with that a few times. Like literal dead ends. Should we go down the wrong way? Just see if that saves us a bit of time. Oh my god, the brakes, the brakes, the brakes, the brakes, the brakes. Oh shit, move everybody, move. Move, 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 move. Oh my fucking Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Important taxi business. Oh, shit. I was looking at the map. Fuck. It's difficult to start this car up again. Is it this one or the next one? It, oh, my God. The camera. The camera. It's like driving a fucking tank. Oh, God. I, can't. I just cannot turn through these tight little corners. Oh my god. Yeah, if we do another one of these, I'll get my city car. I'll get my city car. They're too tough in this thing. Uh, right, I don't think we're going to be able to do another uh, journey at the moment because our, t our car is absolutely destroyed. Let's go down here and get some repairs. You got it pretty much the way she wanted, completely free of <laughs> Yes. You're not wrong, actually. You're not wrong. Uh, let me just do it. I, yeah, we'll just we'll go around here. It's fine. I thought Pacific Drive would naturally climb higher up the backlog as it requires a lot of focus and attention to detail. I can't ha handle that smoke at the moment. I think it's a game where I'll probably come back to it, but I think when I do, I'll probably start over. Uh, and tr just try and learn the game again. Um, I'm pretty certain I know all the mechanics. I've unlocked a shit ton of stuff as well, but God, there's just so much to think about. I've played games like The Forest and Stranded Deep, as you know, and they're survival sims. And they they have loads of things you can craft, but it's just not quite as soul-destroyingly punishing as that one. I went out, like I found some really nice new doors, um, got some nice new wheels, um, got some headlamps that, um, like headlights that can't be um, got by some enemies. They will just electrocute your car, so your electrics break. I found like like headlights that don't allow them to break, and I got trapped behind a rock, and the storm came in, and fuck, pedestrian, Jesus. Um, yeah, and like destroyed the car, and so you could, you'll get back to base, and there'll be a like um, I forget what they call them. There'll be a version of your car still out there that you can go back and get all your stuff from your trunk. But all your, when you go back to base, you've got like shitty doors, shitty wheels, shitty headlights, and all your good stuff is left out there. And so to go out and get that stuff back, you're going out in a lesser car. And half the time I'd go out in a lesser car on like this rescue mission and I'd die before I got there. And so you're back at the base with an even shittier car to go. And then it just, it's like a horribly repeating circle. Um, very tough. Wait, have I gone past where I need to go? No, this is the right place. 
this is the right way I think. Isn't it? No, no, like there are there if so if I'm trying to get from A to B, you could sometimes you got to go down like dirt roads, and sometimes it's the middle of the night. And if your headlights have been destroyed, you have to find your way through somewhere where it's basically pitch black at night with no headlights. Um, and yeah, you might bump into a rock, you might reverse, you might get stuck behind a tree. The storm will come in, destroy your car, and then you're just you're just fucked. Uh, King Robzy Ten, welcome in. Nice to meet you. How you doing today? Um, no. Well, I, I think the there's. What you start with is kind of the base, but you can make it considerably better. But if you die with your considerably better stuff, when you go back to the garage, when you respawn, you won't have the nice stuff. But you can go back to your, I think like the shell of your car, I forget what they call it. And you can get your nice stuff and bring it back. But half the time on the way to get my stuff, like rescue my good stuff, I would die again. So then you've got two shells of yourself out there in the world. It was just annoying. I really thought that could be a, a game that I would play forever. It looks really, really fun, but just so fucking tough. I thought it might be like a nice, relaxing game to just drive about in, but no, not at all. Uh, okay, right, let's repair. I think this is going to cost a lot of money. We've had a few crashes since we were last here <laughs> doing the speed runs. Um... $150, not too bad, not too bad. Full repair, okay, we're looking okay. Right, who are we picking up? I think they've got somebody to pick up here. Uh, Miguel Martin. Miguel. Easy, easy now. It's very narrow. Just have to let you go past, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, King Robsy, tell me something about you. Let's get to know each other. What kind of games do you like to play? Is this a game you have? Is this a game you're thinking of getting? How has your day been? pedestrians villain need to win all games including the final and all german teams left need to lose both legs to go out in the semis for that fifth place yeah yeah it sounded pretty pretty disastrous Oh, we've been raided. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, Irish Miner, thank you so much for the raid. We're listening to some ambient music and driving around Barcelona today. Getting everybody ready for the weekend. How are you, friend? It's good to see you. Thank you for thinking of me. Let me give you a shout out. What were you playing today? Hope you enjoy the uh, relaxation that we're going to be having for the next uh, three hours or so. If you need to raid and run, completely understand. Not close. Start with boom men, end with so bass. Nice. It sounds like a good stream. Yeah, make sure you do some self-care, some post-stream stuff, Ooh, and then ugly. feel free to come back and uh, just relax with us. Relax and unwind.
Hello? Hello, real world. Do you like minivans like this? Sedans or hatchbacks? In the real world, I do not drive. So I don't really have any knowledge or any interest in cars, period. I'd have to, if I'm being completely honest with you. It's not really my thing. Um, what about you? Tell me about you, what do you like? didn't even know it existed until the day before release yeah I think I knew about it for a while but the fact they they get they kept it quite quiet and dropped it 3 p.m. our time um, yeah it's very nice have a minivan it's incredibly useful I imagine it is I imagine you can stick a goat in the back of that presumably maybe you already have Pretty much a straight shot now, I think, to our destination. Very nearly HTC, they've really tried. I've only driven hatchbacks. One summer I had to help park a guy's sedan. Hated it because it felt like driving a truck. This car that we're using at the moment is a six-seater. And compared to some of the other cars in the game, it feels like I've described it as driving like, a, uh, it's like driving a tank. We tried to do some speed challenges just a minute ago with it, and it's not a good combination. Our little, um, I think is it an ASC? I forget what it's called now. Um, yeah, it's much more nippy. So if we do any more challenges, I'll, I'll switch car. Any pedestrians so far? Yeah, like I said, they're trying. HDC, they really are trying, which I respect, but uh, I'm not going to let it happen. I can drop the back seats, take out the middle seats, and it's bigger than a truck bed. Very nice. I'm listening to the ambient music while driving myself. I put on a much more chaotic driving game. I think I know the one you made. I hope it can um, help. It might be just what you need to take some of the anxiety out of the situation. What track are you going for at the moment? Was I get up since 2021 during the re uh, reveals and he ended up not liking it. Interesting. It's kind of like you with Pacific Drive, I guess. You were talking about it for months, I feel like. I, I could fit all four goats in there, perfect. Oh, I didn't know you were up to four, actually. I think the last time I heard it was three, but that's good news. Uh, also, good evening, HTC. Good evening to you. How was, the how was your day? Plans for the weekend as well. If anybody wants to be the next passenger, the uh, redeem or the command is in the title of the stream. Tiny Arena. I can imagine the dev time for that. I mean, it was quite... There's a lot of... They're quite generous with the time for some of the earlier... Um, levels but i don't know what it'd be like to do the dev time it's the thing about a tiny arena that i don't like is that it's just such a long track it needs concentration throughout uh meant to be going to the smoke tomorrow for a friend's birthday you probably sports probably pizza um probably a bit of cuphead um i don't know we'll have to see part of me thinks, how are you darling all right short master you are next part of me thinks um I should do a, t uh, a 15 hour stream tomorrow on YouTube, trying to get this trophy that nobody on planet Earth has got yet for ha uh, Harold Halibut. But I don't know, I don't know. Right, let's carry on. Hoping we might get one or two of the trophies in the bottom left hand corner today as well. We'll see how lucky we get. They come through natural progression of the game. Oh, somebody's asking me a question. Uh, okay, that was an interesting conversation. We got a hundred XP for it.
thank you very much for the follow. We do anonymous follows. You're welcome to say hello. You're welcome to lurk. I appreciate you. We are creeping closer to 1,300 followers. These narrow little roads, so you've got to be very careful. <laughs> this is not the car for these little narrow streets. Oh, it's 30 miles an hour here. Let me see if I can just... Uh, let me show you. These ones here. We bought these last time. You had to be a level 20 to be able to get them. Uh, I like the look of them the whole time. They make me think of Back to the Future. I think one of the Back to the Future films, there are big white rooms. Um, and I had to get them. But we had to wait very patiently to become level 20. It wasn't... It took about... I guess it would have been nine streams it took to become a level 20. But yeah, they're fantastic. Okay, I think we're finally at this guy's destination. It'd be so cool to get a world's first trophy. Imagine the people flocking to ask you about all the notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I got quite close. I think I was 14 off or something, but they could be anywhere. They could be anything. You might be that person, Sam. Could be you. Hold on a second. Why am I here? And why is it over there? <laughs> what? Have I... Hmm. Oh, bollocks. I was just about to reverse in there. Um, how in the fuck do I get... See, these one-way streets will really confuse me. We're, on the, we're going the right way. It's not that I'm doing anything necessarily wrong. But there were two separate roads going the same direction side by side. One was the right one, one was the wrong one. Apparently. Which is not ideal. Okay. I'm convinced I've missed the note or two now. One second. We'll just quickly check our mark. Four stars. No, nothing bad. All greens. But I think we were too slow. Uh, missed the note or two now. Is there usually pages missing? No. Th that, that's the big problem, Sam. If, if you find notes one and three for this trophy, they will be side by side. There will not be a gap where two should have gone. They'll be side by side. You can also find them in the order three, two, one or one, two, three or two, three, one or one, three, two. And they will still just sit in the book as you find them. So even if you've, you might think you've missed the first one, but you might have got it, you know, fifth or something. And so you might start again, think you missed it, but you didn't miss it. It's, a, I'm only, obviously we're only saying this because we're trophy hunters. Nobody else would give a shit, but it's not been thought out for the benefit of people like me and you, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> Gibbsy, welcome in. Good to see you, friend. How are you doing today? How's the Lord treating you? Right, short master is the next passenger. Let's go and grab short master. Let me see where is short master first. Or oh, maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Raphael Martin. I've got to go up and down to get you. Maybe what about are you? Are you closer? Yeah, you're closer. 
think I'm okay today. Happy Friday. Gibbsy, is it unlucky 13 today? Let me know if it's unlucky 13 today. Friday, the unlucky 13. Does make the collectibles so much harder, especially if some of the pages that are missing have extremely specific requirements. Will be a nightmare navigating at all. And I think some are missable. Some are, I mean, I think it probably goes without saying at this point. I think some of them are definitely missable. And then the other thing that's annoying is you can't go into chapter select, find them. I could literally go back and find, if I was missing one, I could chapter select it, find it, but it doesn't stack. I need to go back and do all of them. Yeah, but not worried today. Gibbsy, very happy to hear it. Very happy to hear it. At, uh, Atlas, Spanish word of the day, autopista, autopista, a freeway or expressway. Atlas, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, friend, though. How are you? It's lovely to see you. Um, if anybody wants to be the next passenger, we're just picking up somebody at the moment. But if anybody wants to be the passenger after that, there is a command in the title. I think it might be on a cooldown at the moment. But yeah, that's how we're doing it from now on. If you'd like to be a passenger, all you've got to do is uh, say. <laughs> I'm guessing you might have seen each other about 10 seconds ago, but that's okay. Glad you're both here with me. We're listening to some lovely ambient music, Atlas. Lovely ambient music. The Barcelona sunshine. You know the drill. It's a very good day for a Spanish word of the day. I remember Pista also being on tennis courts. You gonna bump into me? Right, short master, we're on the way. I'm gonna exhaust every NPC's dialogue, even after one main task, instead of waiting until the next day. That's gonna have to be the way. That'll have to be the way to do it. You might be the first person on planet Earth, Sam, to get that, to get that trophy. Could be your, uh, your project on Saturday. 15 hours. You might become famous. The devs might reach out to you. They might put you in the game, Sam. You never know. Hey, Platt. A Platt, hi. Hope you're having a good Friday. Cumber, I hope, I'm, I'm glad you seem to be at home safe and well from your adventures this week. Very happy to hear it. Um, how are you doing? I hope you have some good news, but I don't expect you to share it now, but um, I'd be very interested to hear maybe tomorrow. I hope everything went really well for you. And um, yeah, I'm hoping there are, you know, might be some cheeky good news in there. Dozed off at my desk. Project done. Perfect, Austin. I'm happy that you are the latest recipient of a plat nap. Very happy. Uh, like in Spanish, tennis courts. Because pista means track. The tennis track, I guess. Okay. We'll see if we go past any uh, tennis tracks in Barcelona today. Wait, no. Court is cancha. Cancha. Okay, we'll see if we go past any tennis canchas today. Okay, we're going up to pick up a client at the moment. I'm going to pick up Shortmaster. We're nearly there. Just approaching them now. <clears throat> oh, am I going to be able to do that? Not really. Easy now. Easy now. There we go. Uh... All right, short master, jump in. This is you. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, wait, uh, no good news, but I should be free tomorrow afternoon. Platbrow, Platbrow indeed, Cumber. Platbrow indeed. 
Those facilities, the courts usually have the names Pista 1, Pista 2, etc. Okay. Jackie, welcoming friend. Good to see you. If I didn't get the world's first for it, it would feel so surreal. Because instead of following a guide, I am the guide. How cool would that be? Yeah, Sam, if you could choose to share information with nobody. You could just sit and watch everybody else struggle to find it. In case people are curious, um, Sam and I have been talking about the trophies for Harold Halibut. And it, I mean, this could change any minute. The whole world is watching. I need three more trophies to complete it. But there is a trophy that has been attained by 0.0% of the people playing the game. As you can see over there, 0.0% of the players. I've actually got a pretty decent one. It's a very new game, obviously. I got a pretty decent one, 0. Point... Okay, so when I got it yesterday, it was 0.3% of players. It's 0.6% of players now. So yeah, this one's um, getting less rare by the second, but this particular one in Harold Halibut. And obviously it means that nobody's got the platinum. It sits there unobtained, which is quite cool. Fedora Explorer, which is a good name as well. That might look like Djokovic screaming. <laughs> there we go, okay. Not going for the first person in the platinum. I would, Austin, but this trophy, I mean, nobody knows what's required for it. We have to complete the notebook. And I think I was 15 pages away from completing the notebook. You cannot chapter select to get the missing pages. You'd have to start a whole new playthrough. I could do a whole new playthrough and have three missing. Um, nobody knows how many there are total. Nobody knows where they are. So yeah, people are uh, scrapping for it as we speak. But yeah, the other two trophies are very straightforward. Um, I could probably get them if we pivoted to that game today. I could get them quite simply. Um, but yeah, nobody knows. Come on the Coventry, I will be watching. Um, Arsenal Wolves, I think is... Uh, on in the evening. I'll be keeping track of that score. Yeah, I think there's the um, Lewis Hamilton has qualified second in the sprint race as well, so that's very confusing. I don't know where Verstappen is, but that could, uh, it's four in the morning. It's on at 4 a.m. Probably not going to be watching that. But uh, yeah, there's some tasty sport on this weekend. Who have Celtic got? Who have Rangers got? Jaggy, can I ask you a question? I don't mean this to sound as shitty as it's going to. But how would you feel about Scottish teams? I, the, one of the reasons that it's probably not a good idea is because of the, um, the money related to the Champions League. But how would you feel about Scottish teams going straight into the Europa League rather than the Champions League? And I say that because, and forgive me for saying it, they take a bit of a hiding when they get into the Champions League. And I wonder what you thought about that. Obviously, there's prestige attached to it. It's a much nicer looking trophy. It's a much more well-known trophy worldwide or tournament worldwide. But I, yeah, I, d I don't know. I just wonder if it would benefit. Because I remember Rangers got to the Europa League, fi was it final or semi-final like four or five years ago? Um, I think there's a lot of teams in the Premier League that are desperate to get in the top four, but I really think they'd be much better off finishing fifth or sixth. Like Villa in the Champions League, I don't see it, but Villa in the Europa League, I think it'd be great. Same, I'm not obviously, I'm trying not to ban to them, but I think the same with Tottenham. They'll get chucked straight out of the Champions League. Same with Newcastle as well. I think some teams should aim for the, uh, should aim for the Europa League. And I do obviously remember that, um, I know Celtic have won the Champions League and Arsenal haven't. So it's not a banter thing. Just at this moment in history, I'm just wondering if you think, what you think is the better option. God, I hate these narrow streets. Aberdeen in the semi-final. Swedish word of the day. Okay, I'm going to need a pronunciation for this. Meaning semi-erect penis. Fun, direct translation is rhubarb wobble. <laughs> that is so fucking perfect. Rhubarb wobble. Rabba Bersvaj. Rabba Bersvaj. Yeah, I, I might need um, someone like Laudette to chuck me the uh, translation thing. Uh, we used to be able to compete with teams, but the money difference now is astronomical. 
fallen so far behind in that respect. Yeah, I, I really think, I think like teams like Rangers and Celtic, if they both got automatic places in the Europa League, no qualification, I think that could be genuinely like the making of some really, really good nights at the two stadiums. Is it Ibrox and Hamden Park? Oh no, that's your national stadium. Ibrox is Rangers. What is the Celtic stadium called? I forget the name, but yeah, I think just at the end of the day, football is about you know entertainment and it's about creating wonderful nights for, for fans, you know. Um, I think it could be a good call. Not that I'm in charge of... Oh, it's just Celtic. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I think Tottenham's is the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, so yeah, it, it happens occasionally. <laughs> I was expecting something a bit grander. I can't lie to you, Jackie. <laughs> Park, see, Parkhead rings a bell. Celtic Park does not, but Parkhead does. Uh, I'd love to see how Celtic fare in Europe, uh, Europa, as you say. We always do crap. Rangers seem to found their competition. It's the same with people like, um, is it Sevilla and Valencia or Villarreal? Like, they never do anything in the Champions League, but give them the Europa League and they'll fucking bite your hand off for it. Haven't Sevilla or Valencia won it like five times in the last 10 years or something? I don't think there's any shame in it at all. I just think, you know, sometimes you've got to know your level and really go for it. The, the, the five or six years Arsenal were in the Europa League, I would have loved them to try and win it. It was insane to me that we did not put our first team out for every single game in the Europa League. Bonkers, absolutely bonkers. So you're stressed, but totally understandable. I know you'll figure it out at, uh, in the end, and it'll be such a good thing for you, 100%. I think, Cumbie, you're one of three people at the moment that are making a similar kind of transition. And um, it's so easy to say it will be so great. It will be the making of you. Your life is about to change for the better, but there's a long way to go first, but we will all support the shit out of you. You're the beating heart come of so many communities on Twitch, and we will support you in any way we can. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, suffering from the rhubarb wobble in the wrong setting can be awkward. Uh, I'm trying to think of an English equivalent of, of that. Let me, let me scroll back up quickly. Let me scroll back up and read this. Have I lost it? Where, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Uh, Rabarbersvaj, meaning semi-erect penis. Fun direct translation is rhubarb wobble. I think you could say that somebody was somebody was flying a half mast. I think I've heard that before. Um, I've heard I've heard the expression nursing a semi as well. <laughs> oh, I love words. Language. Love love some language. Uh, we have another similar one. Ms. Ribba, literal translation being a cozy bar, okay. Zaya, welcome in, lovely to see you. Enjoy the ambient music. Hopefully we can give you a bit of relaxation today, Zaya. Europa League games are more competitive. The games always feel so... But it's, like the Champions League feels like a lightweight versus heavyweights. And I think the, the group stages in particular, but when we get to this stage, it gets a bit tastier in the Champions League. We used to, be, used to be unbeatable at home for so long in Europe, but then we went 10 years without a win. Mm. Uh, bunch of cunning linguists over here. The Romans knew something about being cunning linguists, for sure. Ah, language. But the it gift. also preserved it glimpses of how sophisticated Roman life was, mm. with creature comforts like indoor plumbing and conilingus. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to jot that down. Uh... Cool. I think we're caught up. Lots of lovely people popping in the last uh, 15 minutes or so. Welcome in. I think you know the drill on Fridays. Nice bit of relaxation, a relaxing game. And uh, we've pivoted from lo-fi music to ambient music. So let's get you through the rest of your work day. I know Atlas is still working and other people as well. Some people have finished their work day and just want something nice, soothing, just to guide them, guide them into the weekend. That's what we're doing today. Um, if you'd like to be the next passenger, feel free to do exclamation mark. Um, I can't remember. It's in the title. I think it was exclamation mark darling without without a G. 
Oh, do you know what? The um, the emote got animated today. I've not put it out yet, but... Um... How are you, darling? You all right? There we go. Sam is the next passenger. Perfect. The next... Um, yes, that emote has now been animated. So Monday, you'll have a, you'll have a plat waving emote. Uh, English word of the day. Gurdon. Gurdon. A reward, prize, or accolade such as a trophy. Our type. You always know exactly what to say. The food you put in the Discord yesterday. I think I asked you yesterday what you were what you were cooking up, and you said you were going to have leftover soup. And I'm guessing plans changed, unless I'm thinking Wednesday. I might have been thinking of Wednesday. Anyway, the food you put in the Discord in the food porn channel was divine. I, I imagine it tasted amazing. It tasted good just to look at. I could smell the uh, the wonder just by looking at it. Since 2006, Sevilla have won it seven times. And I think a lot of that was um, the Aston Villa manager. Was that right? not right? Unai Emery, um, a previous Arsenal manager as well. I think Unai Emery star. knows how to win Europa or Europa Conference. I think he just knows how to do it. And I pray Villa go on to win that tournament. My dad's a Villa fan. I know Small's a Villa fan. I know we've got other Villa fans in the community as well. I'd love you to win that. Such a rich tradition of European football at Villa Park. It's been, you've had some, some lean times, but oh, if you could win that trophy, I'd be fucking thrilled for you. Absolutely dominated in the Europa League for so long. They'd win it, finish third in their group in the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's it. You got to know your level. I mean, they probably wish they could just go straight into it. You know, just who cares about the Champions League? Um group stages yeah just chuck me in the Europa for super John McGinn John McGinn is fucking class can we all agree on that he's fucking class oh Wednesday sorry I'll type yeah I I remember having that conversation at some point about the soup and I was thinking oh okay I'll type felt like doing something a bit more a bit more creative yeah wonderful but yes you had you had it both you had both I had some soup last night myself actually so yeah I can feel that He's been unreal. Ah, oh, do you know what I like? I, I respect Steven Gerrard as a footballer, but like sometimes the jump from footballer to manager just doesn't happen. I think John Terry, Wayne Rooney, it's just not going to happen for any of them. I think Gary Neville tried as well. Um, just become pundits, guys. Just just walk away. Just become pundits. Ooh, damn it. Yeah, that was the first of the day. That's the first uh, death of the day. 7 0 lost to Barcelona. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, first one. First pedestrian killed. Right, Sam, we're going to come and find you. Uh, are you the nearest passenger? I think you might be. Actually, what about you? <laughs> they yeah yeah i i think i knocked them over about one less than one mile an hour my brakes did you them screeching the brakes on the six seater are just very bad so in the other cars i could have avoided it but there was no way 70 euros of death is not bad not bad uh i remember watching us play that barca team and seeing Messi, Suarez, and Neymar charging you back for it is terrifying. Was that live? Were you at uh, Celtic Park? Were you at Park Head, Jaggy, at the time? I think we. I think we, <laughs> I think we got battered. See, I hate that ours is called the Emirates Stadium. I think if it was. Um... <laughs> If there comes a time where we're not sponsored anymore, I think it would be either be called, we might like we'll just rename it Highbury, but it's in a spot called Ashburton Grove, which I like the sound of. Itchy knows. Yeah, the Emirates Stadium, like the Etihad Stadium, I just, no, no thank you. I wish stadiums didn't have naming rights. Spotify new camp, yeah.
I'm very excited, Jack. The next season of Welcome to Wrexham starts on May the 2nd, and the trailer came out for it today. Looks so good. Sam, um, I think we told you this last time. There's no gruel in the back now. There's an all-you-can-eat um, fruit salad bar, but there's also now a panini press. We've added a panini press to the back of the uh, good day, back sir. of the cars. I said good day, sir. Good day, sir. Terry, have a good one. Thank you for the lurk. Enjoy the music. Yeah, the back of our cabs now. Um, we have snacksy snacks, uh, fruit salad bar, and a panini press. Yes, I guess. After that really good meeting we had last week in the back of the taxi. Um, yeah. Zaya's brand, Snacksy. They're now officially, we've officially um, bonded forever. Thank fuck for that. The gruel, for some reason, seemed to knock me out cold. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking forward to using the panini press. Have you got pizza ingredients for it? There's all kinds of things. There's all kinds of things back there. Um, yeah, fruit salad bar, panini press, and snacksy. Yeah, it's all going. It's all going on in the back. All right, Sam, we're approaching you now. Sam, I think after we do your journey, we're going to go and buy a new taxi. We're going to get the... I think it's going to be the fifth taxi in our fleet. Yeah, I, I I don't know if it would quite work out, but I always think, could you give those stadiums to like, like lower league teams? Like could Leighton Orient have played at Highbury or something? Or is that too weird? Because you can't just, there aren't really many spaces to just conjure up brand new stadiums, but I don't know. It might be too weird. Make sure to leave a hefty tip for your taxi buying endeavors. Appreciate it. Do they still play the Emirates Cup? They do, yeah. Yeah. I think they might have knocked it on the head for a bit during COVID, but pretty certain they do. Riddy, welcome in. Riddy, somebody else bought your mug. You sold two mugs, mate. Well done. Right, this is Sam Jenko. Jenko, we're on the way. If anybody's thinking about buying a mug, if anybody's sick of having coffee poured directly into their hands and being scolded, um, you feel like you want something ceramic maybe to put the coffee into, or tea, or uh, Bovril, or uh, Lucozade, or, um, I don't know, the tears of somebody, consider buying a mug, exclamation mark mugs. They're now come in three sizes as well, including 20 fucking ounce, 20 ounces. Might as well get an IV bag if you're having that much coffee, but that's, you know, how you choose to live your life, that's up to you. This taxi has a nice interior, mate, and the panini is delicious. Am I right in saying this does not <laughs> Oh, you sweet summer child. Panini sizzling sounds in the background. 
uh, I think it was 2009 or 10, I saw Celtic play Arsenal in it, but missed the first game, actually, Milan versus Lyon. That was a good pre-season. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw Platt, but we are playing Aberdeen in the Cup semi-final tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for you. I look out for a couple of teams these days. Um, Wrexham, obviously. They're like my second team at the moment. Um, looking out for Liverpool, Man City and Arsenal, obviously. But I'll keep an eye out for Celtic and Rangers. We can uh, talk about it all on Monday. See how you're doing. Early start for me, Jaggy. I might, uh, yeah. Yeah, I might not even be up at that time, but we'll see how we go. Uh, I certainly am having that much coffee, if not more. Uh, you have to pay in a different way. There are so many surcharges, Sam. Just for even engaging with the Panini Press in general, there's a, there's a charge for that. Is he just a bit tired, Jackie? Is that what you mean? I've always thought it looks quite, in a good way, like a throwback, you know, to one of those like classic stadiums. Um, oh my fuck it, it's green. The light for me was green. See, it's red for you. You see that? You see that? Red, that person's red, which means don't fucking cross. Sam, what did you put in your panini? I think you're going to Parkhead on Sunday for the women's game versus Hearts. Very nice. Very nice. You, I think a Small and Jag are going to bump into each other at some point. They changed their mind and went the other way. It happened. Sometimes, I think our time, I've probably told you this a million times, but sometimes they'll cross, literally bump into each other, not go past each other. They'll just turn back around and go back the way they came. The gin and tonics for my sister, Ruth. Thank you, Gibbsy. Okay. This one they, is they'll do it. They, they really will and do it. if you could hand this one to my boyfriend. Fuck you. Whiskey! It's like they're spies passing on secret information. The stands are quite low and angled, and there's a huge running track, so you can mainly see, <laughs> see fuck all. And I always end up behind the goals, so it's even worse. Yeah, that sucks. I remember going to um, the Olympic Stadium in London to, um, I, I'm not really, I don't, I'm not really an athletics person, but I like going to watch, um, I think the World Championships were on. It's quite a few years ago now, before COVID and everything. And I went to three separate days because you get to see so much. I got to see high jump, long jump, like javelin shot put, running, all happening at the same time. Um, so yeah, some of the views were good, some of the views were not so good, depending on what you were looking at, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Fucking love that, yeah, Gibbsy, yeah. It's hard to explain why it's bad, you have to see it for yourself, I can understand that, yeah. I think um, there are some stadiums in, I think Goodison Park is one, where there are literally known seats where you are behind, like a fucking, a fucking, you know, pole, because they're so old school, and you get a huge discount on that seat, apparently. But it's, it is what it is. Pizza sauce, mozzarella and pepperoni. Very nice, very nice. It's, it's five pounds per slice of pepperoni. I probably should have mentioned that. It was in the fine print. Um, but yeah, let's see how, if it reflects in the tip that you give us at the end of the journey. Yeah, it's, it is rough. I think, yeah, one is good as some potentially Villa Park. I think a lot of the other ones are like championship level, but you'll be, I don't know if you've seen that Simpsons episode where, I think it's where Homer's going up against Dredrick Tatum. And you see Bart and Simpson, um, Bart and Simpson, Bart and Lisa talking. And then after about a minute of them talking, Marge like puts her head out from around a big like pillar or something. She's been back there the whole time. It's the worst seat in the fucking house. Um, yeah, that's what it's like. I think at some of the English stadiums, some of the old ones. Right, we're we going down here. Looks about right. 
Right, I think once we do this journey, like I said, we're going to go and get a lovely new taxi. This will be our fifth taxi. We're becoming a fleet. We're becoming an empire. I think I remember that, yeah. It'll be on the, uh, definitely be on YouTube somewhere. Right, I think we need to go and charge up our battery as well. Good. Parallel parking. Good. I was hoping there'd be parallel parking. Okay. Okay. How do we do, Sam? How do we do? We got one, two, three, four, five stars. All greens. Look at this. Oh, shit. Sam, you were, one, you were the 100th. You were the 100th passenger. This is you, Sam. Master of people transportation. Successfully complete 100 rides. You were number 100. Look at that. What a way to get it as well. Right. Stopping at red lights. Respecting traffic flow. Speed limit bonus. Respecting areas not available to cars. No small collisions. No big collisions. And it was number 100. Amazing. Uh, I get to ride for free. Sam, this means you get our silver pass. It's a silver trophy, so you get the silver pass. It means every journey you ever take with us is 50% off, I, which I think is fair. Whoever is the golden, number 150, I think is for a gold trophy. Um, they will get the gold, the gold pass. But I think 50% off is not bad. I think that's a pretty good deal. Uh, one second. I think I missed the Jaggy message up here. I imagine those seats are a good deal if you have to bring your kid and they don't care about watching. Yeah, that was the case for me when my dad brought me to... <laughs> I like that. Answer. Yeah, it's good thinking. I really want to see a game in the Dortmund Stadium. Is that the... Is it called like the Westfield Stadion or something like that? I'm sorry about the pronunciation, but... Um, the old Atletico Madrid Stadium and the... Um, Dortmund Stadium. I would love to go have um, been in both of them. They, the, the, like the yellow wall. I don't know what they call it. Is it called the yellow wall? Where they have the fucking things they hold up? Just incredible. Like really, really amazing. I think the Panini hasn't agreed with me. Can we... <laughs> God. Yeah, there are some bushes over there, Sam. Yeah, good luck. I think it would probably be better. I went there when we had a Champions League qualifier there, like 2015. I was in the very bottom tier. Kind of hard to see, but it's still better than Hamden's at Murrayfield, yeah. That's it, West Felon Stadion, yeah. I, I knew it was something like that, the yellow wall. The yellow wall, I mean, some of the stuff they come up with, just unbelievable, like genuinely unbelievable. Sweden, uh, Sweden supporters called themselves the Yellow Wall on away matches. Really? Do you remember when, um, was it the Iceland supporters used to do, what, what was it called? They look the other way. They'd link arms and they'd do that fucking jumping thing. And then Man City fans started doing it for a little while. What was it called again? I thought it was really cool. The volcano, that's not what I know it as, but maybe that's what it's known as in Iceland. Signal Iduna Park, it's also called. Get rid of that running track for a start. Do they ever use it for like um, athletics meets or anything like that? Because I can imagine running tracks are a bit of a money maker. Um, but yeah, yeah. I think um, the one thing I hate about Wembley Stadium is that they use it for everything. They, you get, you get um, music events there. You get car like rallying there. Um, I just want it to be for football. I know it will sit there for like 11 months a year, but I just hate sharing it with everything. It was used for the Commonwealth Games when it was held here, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, Jenko. We've got 93% um, client patience as well. So I think we got you there in good time, that means. Right, let's go and buy a new taxi. Oh, we're actually in exactly the right place to buy a new taxi. How lovely. Sam, you've taken us exactly where we needed to go. Now, can I... Let's see how good my pullout game is. 
Let's see if I got a good pullout game today. Pullout game is strong. Pullout game is strong. I think, I can't remember if it, they're the only team as well, Jaggy, but I think Borussia Dortmund, um, and I remember watching them like in the 90s, in the Champions League in the 90s, thinking they had a really cool kit because nobody else in the Premier League was yellow. So I remember thinking yellow and black was really cool. I think they have like yellow and black nets as well in their goals. And I don't think many teams have like multicolored nets. I think maybe Everton do. But yeah, I like their nets. Right, let me buy a new car. I'm thinking the nippy one, Sam. What are we thinking? Tyne Castle. Who's is Tyne Castle? Uh, to buy. Okay, I think, yeah. I think we're going for the SMC, Sam. The nippy street car. It's not a Fiat 500, but it's, um, it's that kind of car, you know. I think the only car we've never bought is this one, which is for luxury VIP clients. Um, but I think we're okay. Oh, speed, it's actually very speedy. Yeah, we're not gonna spend, or not gonna save, how much is it? 24 grand, no. No, thank you. Okay. So that means we need to go and hire somebody, presumably, driver, management. Uh, let's, fi let's find somebody. Gustavo Garrido. Oh, do I need to... No, I need to hire somebody. Yeah, here we go. Right, Joe Diaz. Workaholic, but they're dirty. Uh, Yosefa Ortiz. Trader. Oh, hello. Employee earns more money for completing tasks. Each level increases uh, profit. They're sickly, though. They're level one for sickly. I think they're still good, though. Because I think they've got chronic health issues. Zaya, what do you think? I think uh, Josepha or Josepha or however you pronounce that, Ortiz, I think they're chronically ill. Yeah, sickly. Lots of sick days per week. Yeah. I think you're our person. So the SMC will put you in. For sure. For sure. Okay. And then we're going to put you in here. We're going to put the hours to maybe 3 p.m. Should be hired. We love a spoonie. Yeah, they're a spoonie for sure. Uh, right. All we've got to do now, I don't think we've got the money to do it. But what we're going to do is go to the SMC. Actually, how do I do it again? I think it's in garage. Um, God, it's, the menus in this are quite difficult to navigate. Uh, owned. Yeah. How do I? Nope. Cars. Owned. And then I go to customize. Oh, do I have to? I think I have to get into this car to customize it. Uh, assigned. Set as active. Okay. So that means I'm gonna to have to reassign the driver again. Uh, customize, yeah. Blue, good start. LEDs, I think the ones we have are blue. Install, there we go. And the one we have here, I think is this one, good. And then, no uh, spoiler. I think we like these tyres. This is our new trademark tyre, just in case people didn't see this last week. I like them a lot. Oh, they're 1500 fuck. They're very expensive. So we can't put those on yet. Yeah, we can't put those on yet. That's fine. Uh, I think we can probably do some interior stuff, though, can't we? So what bobblehead do people like? I forget which ones we've had now. We've had quite a few of them. This little dog. This little dog. I think we've done all the ducks before. Um, so these two dogs are options as well. Dragon. Cute little dragon. Uh, after playing some Rise of the Ronin, we could try putting one of these little cats in. Menekiniko. 
What do people like for the uh, the hood ornament or the um, the dashboard ornament? Got to go for dragon. We like the dragon. Sorry, Gibbsy. Atlas snuck in just ahead of you. Uh, are we going to go for the Pornhub colours? Yeah, we always pick the Pornhub colours. Um, gear stick. I think we've done most of these. Uh, Gibbsy, would you like to choose the gear stick that we use? There can be normal, baseball, basketball, skull, eight ball, uh, football, dice, and fist. I don't recognise the colours. Yeah. Got to go fist. Then with those colours, I like I like your style. I like your style. Right. I think we're good to go. Um. I think what we'll do is we'll stay in the other car though. I'll stay in the six seater. We get, like I said, with the six seater, it's electric. Um, big six seater, big boot space, and I think there's something else, and they. That means we get lots of different types of jobs, different types of fares. Um, set as active, yeah. But that means I think we need to then go back to management and the SMC and we will put in, it was you, wasn't it? You're the sickly one. Put you there, I'm gonna put you there. And then everybody's in a car. Yeah, we've got three SMCs, actually. They're the nippy ones, so I think that's why we focused on them the most. Um, okay. Good luck, everybody. Godspeed. Let me start the car. <laughs> that might help. Um, I want to go and get some... We need to charge our car up, actually. Let me go to... Where's the closest charging station? Why are there no charging stations on the map at the moment? Have I turned them off somehow? They all seem to be turned off, and I'm not sure why. Oh, maintenance, yeah. They were turned off, I don't know why. Okay. Right, well, they're back on now. So this is the nearest one. We'll go here, we'll get some uh, electricity. Charge up our battery. And we'll do a, probably do a car wash as well. And then we'll start hitting it. Start hitting is probably a bad choice of words for uh, somebody in my particular line of work, but it is what it is. So if anybody wants to be the next passenger, the command is in the title. And we'll come and get you. Nobody in the list right now. No harm in some more. I wouldn't want the first one to be lonely, you know? Lying there in the morgue. They need a friend. Oh God. Right, this is the petrol station over here. We don't need petrol though, this is an electric car. So we're looking to get a charging point. So there are the car washes over there. Easy now. Death buddies, yeah. It's a really good way of putting it. Right, gas station built. Oh! 
Recharge your car at every charging station in the city. Perfect. Very nice. All right, let's wash the car as well. This must be a place we've not been very often. Wash the car. It's actually not too dirty. We're officially in minus money now. We bought our taxi for six and a half grand. And these are not free, these charges or washes. So we're in minus money. Minus 130 euros. Uh, minus 183 euros now. Okay, how do we get out of here? Is this a one-way system? Probably is, isn't it? Let me mark down a passenger first. Let's go and grab you. You're quite close. There must be a way out. I don't think this is right. Let's go out. Let's see, see if we can find the proper way. Can we go here? This seems very narrow. It seems like it's going to be a dead end at the end of it. Oh, God. I've, oh, yeah, we're going to... Oh, Jesus. I'm going to lose a lot of paint here, I can tell. Oh, thank goodness. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, that's a dead end. So are we popping a U-turn here? This, none of this seems right. Okay. Right, we have found our next target. They are there. Actually, we've got to go all the way down here and come back all the way up here. So is there... Would it be easier to get you instead? Ish. Ish. No, it'll be easy to get you, I think. Right, we seem to be back in the... Oh, I think I just went over there. Yep, we seem to be back in the city now. Uh, so tired, I'm constantly forgetting what I'm doing. And I keep walking back and forth like a sim whose actions have been cancelled. It's all right. It's okay. What you need to do is you need to start writing little lists, Zaya. It's what you need to do. It's what I do. It's what a lot of people here do. It's a thing that happens when you get the old brain fog. It's a thing when you're very tired. It's a thing that I just associate with chronic people in general. 
there's no no harm in having a little notebook, a little pen, or like a, you know, do it on your phone or whatever. Yeah, make yourself little lists. Take some of the uh, take some of the weight off your mind. <laughs> it's all right because we love a derp we love a derp this is one of my favorite songs in this uh, particular um, playlist I've made. The next time I see Helen, I'll pass that on, Zaya. I'm glad they're working out for you. Finally say hi. Been lurking for a few hours, but was head down in work. No worries, Cassie, no worries at all. I was asking you um, a bit earlier, the questions I was asking you just to see if I could um, be the architect of a raid. Um, I don't know if you were very strict. I think you said that you go on between two certain hours. Um, so I might, might be gone by the time you start, but uh, I will definitely take a look. Because, yes, I absolutely owe you a raid. Oh, how the fuck is this sign in the middle of my little bubble, my little parking window? Right, this is Cassie that just got into the back of our car. Welcome, Cassie. Welcome to our Platy Duck Cars. I keep saying, is it Platy Duck Cars or Platy Duck Cabs? I keep bouncing back and forth between them. I'm going to say cars. Sounds a bit more professional. <clears throat> Where are we taking Cassie today? Let's try not to run over this pedestrian who's desperately trying to walk out in the middle of the road. Thankfully, they bumped into a bike or something. Cassie, is this you? Grateful for taxis, legs extremely sore.
before I switch into the game. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully at some point the uh, planets will align and I'll be able to send you send you a raid. But yeah, you might I might end a little bit before you start today. But soon. Soon I hope. Cassie, I think you're my good luck charm for Cuphead. Oh, pedestrian. It was great seeing your Funkos last night, though. I appreciated it. Oh, didn't break in time. So you killed someone else? Yes. Yes. It was a very close thing. I think I, I bumped into them when I was going probably about half a mile an hour. I just slowed down. But I just couldn't quite get out of the way. We've been pretty good, though. Pretty good. A few near, near brushes, as you saw just then, but... I'd absolutely love some time to go through your, uh, to travel over and see your complete Funko collection. I love that you've got such, uh, you've got like a, did you say you got like a Batman wall? Yeah, I imagine there are some really cool ones there. Yeah, I've been a Batman fan since probably about 1992, 1993, when I first saw Batman Returns and Batman the Animated Series. Absolutely love Batman. Had to test my brakes then. Cassie, welcome to your destination. I think we um, kind of went through a red light at one point. This might have counted as another red light. But I think speed-wise, we were pretty decent. see how we did okay uh timing wise we were perfect all five stars excuse me uh speed limit brakes driving in areas not available for cars that's unfortunate but i think it was still a pretty good journey five stars uh got you there in good time i think client patience means we got you there in good time uh 400 euros we are out of debt <laughs> we're out of debt after buying our new taxi. We have well, 234 euros in profit. Love to see it. Right, who is next? Who is that? Oh, you're right here. 
Mercedes or Tega? Hello. I'm on my way, Mercedes. Good name for a car game. Oh, police cars on the move. Had to be between these two trees, didn't it? Easy now, easy, easy. He's all oh, easy. Hello. Right, just check I'm not about to be rear-ended by anybody. I think this will be our final journey of uh, the in-game day. It's getting a bit dusky outside. Laundry's done, very nice, congrats. I'll whisper it to you, small one second. There we go. Oof, just saw you in the last second.
A lot of parallel parking at the moment to finish. Oh, it's not. Thankfully, there's nobody ahead. So we can just relax and traverse instead. There we go. Nice. Thank you. That was a... Oh, good. Five stars. All the greens. All the greens. Love to see it. Right, we're going to go actually go to the uh, garage now because it's getting a bit late. It's quite dusky at the moment, but it'll get dark soon. So, yeah. Garage right here. Perfect. I was looking at the map, not the road. Okay. Oh, pedestrian, I see you. I see you trying. I know what you're up to. Like a glove. Let's go. Oh, non assigned drivers got their salaries. Non assigned drivers got their salaries. Drivers got their salaries. They're all assigned, though, aren't they? I think they are. Hmm. All I know is we're 700 euro in debt, paying all our wages out. Oh, quite got quite a few uh, people ready for ready to be picked up. Sylvia Allen. Big chunk. Sylvia Allen, where would you like to go? It's not too far. Well, I, I say it's not too far. We've got to go so far in the opposite direction. But by the time we turn around, it will be quite far away. There we go. Uh, Small, did you find what you were looking for? Uh, 
a dope man of one that three three seven. Welcome in. You sound charming as fuck. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome in. How you doing today? How did you find me? Where are you from? Answer my questions. Ah, uh, see, that used to be a, a a similarity I would have welcomed. I don't know these days if anybody wants to be compared to Russell Brand. <laughs> From Germany, nice, nice. We were talking about uh, German football teams earlier. Welcome in. Watching this hot chick playing this game earlier, but she went offline, fair enough. And now you're stuck with me. Unfortunate, but welcome in either way. Is this a game you've got, or is this a game you're thinking of getting? We are listening to some uh, ambient music today as we play this, just to give everybody a restful journey into the weekend. Is CS Counter-Strike? We're going to ask if there's... Uh, but I watch streams of games that I'm interested in. Okay. Do you like to play games that... Or have you played any games that like this before? Or is this something completely new for you? Uh, thank you for the follow, Don't Man. I appreciate it. Yeah, Counter-Strike. Yeah, I've never played Counter-Strike. It's not my genre. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for something quite peaceful, relaxing, um, this is kind of the anti-GTA, I would say. Got mad hours on your track. Yeah, you'll love this. This is very recently come out. So it's still got a few things that need ironing out with patches, but I think they've put out at least four patches at this point. So the uh, creators are really trying to make it a good game. Probably just needs a bit more time. So by the time you get around to playing it, it'll be, uh, all the kinks will be sorted out for you. Yeah, LX, who's another member of the community, they've got uh, mad hours in uh, the American truck sim. Uh, I've never played either of those. I've not really played anything like this, to be honest, before. Relaxing games today. You came to the right place. On Friday, we have basically relaxation streams where we'll listen to low fire ambient music. We might either play something like this, or we might play um, Power Wash Sim as well. Uh, so yeah, that's what we do on Fridays. Uh, you can't really get into it this game or Euro Truck. Because yeah, this game is not going to be for everybody. But uh, if you're looking for something we basically just... It's quite monotonous, but that can be quite therapeutic, at least for me. Uh, many simulators, you've got all the way to the plat because I get so bored in all I've tried, but got the plat for this one. This one's just, it's just, there's not really much to do, but you, you do the same things over and over and over again, but that can be a good thing. You know, sometimes that can be a bit therapeutic. Um, so that's kind of the how we've, how at least how I've been using it in stream, just as something to give people a bit of Friday afternoon relaxation. It's not the kind of game I'd play by myself off stream. Um, but yeah, it's nice. I think people enjoy something now and again that's just, they can just relax too. We don't, you don't really have to think about this. It's quite, it's quite mindless. Again, I mean that in a good way. It might sound like I don't mean it in a good way, but I do. House Flipper. I've never played House Flipper. Uh, so, Platinum. Have you got a. Um, so, on PlayStation, if you get all the trophies, you get a Platinum trophy, which means you get everything. Yeah, that's the PlayStation version of 100%. If you get every trophy, you get given a Platinum trophy. So, I like to try and get Platinum trophies. I think the last one we got on stream was about three weeks ago on Spider-Man 2. Um, but yeah, we've got a couple more games that we're, we're creeping up towards Platinum on. Actually, we don't have, I presume we don't have that many trophies left on this. I think it's just going to be uh, more levels, more distance, more passengers, that kind of stuff. And I think Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. We're quite close on that as well. You're very welcome. 
How did we do? All the bonuses. Stopping red lights, respecting traffic flow, speed limit bonus, respecting areas not available to cars, no small collisions, no big collisions. Uh, nice, we got a 10% tip. It's got 500 euros from that. Nice. All right, who's next? Um, I don't want to do a challenge in this car, though. I might change up the car in a second. So we can start doing some faster challenges. But yeah, this car, you, it's... Actually, is that the garage there? Mm, yeah, we're going to have to go back on ourselves, though. Next time we go past the, uh, a garage, I'll change car. And we'll do some of the speed challenges, maybe. Um... Getting a bit laggy, actually. I'm not entirely sure why. Right, here's the next passenger. Hello, hello. Where do you need to go, friend? Where are we off to? Hi there. Where would you like to go? Right, it's quite a big journey, 1,700 meters away. There might be a chatty one. Oh, we've gone up to level 21, that's nice. No, I, I think probably wait. Wait a little while. Wait for a few more patches to go in, don't man? Um, yeah, because it's a bit... Some of the AI are a bit janky. So yeah, in, in about, I'd say, six weeks' time, they'll probably put three more patches out. Uh, I don't know whether it'll be cheaper or not by that point, but yeah, just hold, hold your fire, that's what I would say. Good question. Uh, I like it. Uh, I'm going to say the people. I think we've said architecture a few times before. Um, I'm going to say Old Town. Uh, it was an interesting conversation. 150 XP. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get into the correct lane. <clears throat> I 
the red lights last a little while in this game. I know they might say that's kind of true to life, but I could do with being a bit short, I think. Easy, then he took my wing mirror off. Cheeky little scamp. Don't beep at me. Oh, this guy. This guy's not going to stop for anybody. Hello, YouTube Gold. Good to see you, Dead Doctor. Dead Doctor, you're from Germany, aren't you? Yeah, we've got somebody over on Twitch called Dope Man who's from Germany. It's nice that uh, apparently I'm big in Germany these days. I think these lights are broken. Let's go through. How has your day been, uh, Doctor? Things going downhill? Interesting. Um, <clears throat> yeah, don't matter. I stream to Twitch and YouTube, and uh, Doctor likes to watch on YouTube. But yeah, he's, uh, he's a really nice guy. Oh, I think we've got a challenge up ahead. Should we try and do the challenge? Mm, it's probably going to be a speed one, isn't it? Let's see how we go. I don't think I've got the ca a car for a speed challenge, but we can, we can, we can pretend. We can try. Hopefully, it's somebody needing a nice, relaxing journey this time. That would be nice. Oh, it is. It's a slow journey. Understood. Yeah, it's not that great anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I think it's it's tough everywhere at the moment, if I'm being honest. A lot of places aren't doing so well. Um. I see a road, an accelerator. You missed the death earlier, that doctor. Yeah, that what we did take a life in this a bit earlier. But as somebody pointed out, it's only a 70 euro fine for killing somebody in this, so. Yeah. I know you're sad you missed it, I can tell.
at red light. This could be the final hurdle we get here. We might get a nice, tasty bonus. Okay. I don't think we broke any uh, laws. How do we do? How do we do? One, two, three, four, five. Good start. Ooh, look at all that. Look at all that green. And we got an 800 euro tip. 800 euro. That was a success. Very happy with that. Uh, cool. Okay, good challenge. All right, so let's go to... These are some generous tippers. Yeah, that was a challenge. That was one of the two types of challenges you can do. So uh, I was being as careful as I possibly could. I need to go and refuel. Let's head down here and then we'll take one of these two passengers. Right, let's go out here. You feeling nice and relaxed, HTC, with the music? How many other cars are there? Do you mean in my company? I think there are four other cars and mine makes five. So yeah, our company's growing quite well at the moment. We're becoming a little fleet of taxis. What are you up to this weekend, Doctor? What's the plan? Is anybody planning to have any nice food at the weekend? I think I might get um, an order from a place I quite like that delivers burgers. I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood for a burger. Going fishing. Oh, nice. What kind of fish are you going to be catching, Doctor? Don't know much about it. I've been uh, fly fishing before. And I caught a rainbow trout, which is a very delicious fish. you up here oh we've got a bit of money perfect uh, let's just quick take a quick look at the map oh start the car that might help Oh, it was at 99% cleanliness. I, I didn't realize that. 
Thankfully, we only pay for the amount that gets cleaned, so it's probably going to be like one euro or something. Okay. I just thought we'd do it while we were here. Two euros. It was two euros. Next passenger, should we try you? Oh, we're gonna have to go around a circle. No, thank you. But like you, circle for you as well. Mm. Okay. They're standing right there. We've got to go around in a fucking circle because it's all one way. Why is there so little going on on the streets? It's hard to catch anything. You never know. You never know. When you least expect it, I tend to uh, get my kills in this. See if I can sneak ahead of this car here. Snooze, you lose. Okay. Hello there. Where would you like to go? Hop in. Where are we going, buddy? Hi. Uh, oh, the map keeps changing. Not the best start. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going the right way now. What's going on in my life? Nothing much. Nothing much. I just wish it would be a bit warmer. The one thing I've got in my life at the moment is the cold is making my joints very sore. So it keeps trying to break through weather-wise. But, um, yeah. I need it to be nice and warm. Because when my joints aren't hurting, if the heat can get into my joints, I get a lot more energy. I feel a lot more energetic in general. So that would be lovely. That's all I'm waiting for at the moment, just for summer to start appearing. You still use the Duck Empire Taxi Company? Yes, we are Platy Duck. I think if you look in our, if you look up here, there's a little duck in our image. You can't really see because it it's so small, but we're Platy Duck Cars 
And our driver's name is Duck Quack. So yeah. Platy, I do not think peeing is art. See, that's what I presumed you meant when you were, uh, you know, in that comment that you made. I'm sorry, it's there now. It's on the, it's on the internet. So that means it, it's there forever. So I'm sorry. Also, hi, hi. Hi, hi. How has your day been today, Bactrian? Um, what shenanigans have you been up to? I'm guessing lots, knowing you. All kinds of shenanigans. This shall be my legacy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've only killed one person today, Bactrian. and you'll be very happy to know been relatively safe today, relatively careful. And we've uh, given quite a few people lifts actually from the community. Everybody's had a nice time. People are loving the ambient music. Sent a few people off to sleep with it already today. So yeah, mission accomplished. The wonderful cucumber here as well. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, everybody. How are we all doing? Thank you so much for the raid, Alex. Really appreciate you. Let me give you a shout out. Welcome in. What were you playing? Was it Phasmo? I think you said it was Phasmo Friday. Give you one yes. of these as well. Welcome in, Raiders. If anybody needs to hydrate, get snacks, get away from screens, take your medications, please do. self if you can hear it over the ambient music, I hope you can. If it's anybody's first time here, why don't you tell me something about you? Let's get to know each other. Yeah, welcome in, everybody. How did, you, uh, how did your stream go? Alex, I hope it went well. Yeah, it was good. Very, very happy to hear. Dear Doctor, it's almost midnight here. If you need to dip, Dear Doctor, I completely appreciate you. Thank you for always being there over on YouTube. Help us with the YouTube watch hours. See, I appreciate you. Witchcraft. Yeah, feel free to add these the stream, Alex. And if uh, we can offer you any ambient music and relaxation, you know what to do. Just chill out and be with us. Body double with us. We are playing Taxi Life, a city driving simulator today. I'm having a good time. Very restful. Just giving everybody a nice, relaxing way to uh, enter their weekend. Alex, you can be the next passenger if you choose. If you'd like to be. Can't tell I've had a pee. Don't want to make a mess in your taxi. <laughs> Good call. We've got a passenger on board at the moment, so uh, you've got time.
beautiful parking. If I do say so myself, that was top draw parking. Five stars, beautiful. Uh, nearly 500 euros, you love to see it. Uh, 321 XP also. Oh, we, we went against the, uh, drove against the traffic flow at some point, apparently. Right, let me ch quickly check. Where's the nearest garage? Because I think I might switch cars so we can do some of the speed challenges. What do we think? Could be fun. What about you? That might be a better one to go to. Yeah, I think that's slightly nearer. <clears throat> It's fine. I'll casually go through the red light. Nobody was crossing. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. It's almost certainly fine. Oh, was I supposed to turn there? Fuck. There we go, problem solved. I'm glad you agree, actually. I'm glad you agree. Okay. Right, I think it's basically a straight shot now to the uh, the garage. We can get our we get the smaller taxi. It's a bit nippier. How are you, darling? All right. Alex, it will be you. You will be our next passenger. Yeah, the thing about the, um, the smaller car is I think I can do some of the speed challenges without too much risk to human life, you know. It's going, oh, easy now. He said, if I ever see Christ again, he's a dead man. We've not watched any kunk in a while. Might need to get that going again next week. All right, here's the garage. I want to make a mess now, good lad. Right, uh, I think I'm going to switch car. So these are the cars we have. I'm going to assign myself this one. And then we're going to put another driver into this one, I think. Yeah, the Halcyon. So who's not in a car? Is it Gustavo Garrido? It might be. Put you here. Keep him. Uh, good. Everybody's assigned to a car. 
it got cut short because my boss got sick and had to cancel the event. How sick are we talking? Did you drop it or something in their food? Also this weekend, the El Clasico. Oh, really? I've not watched an El Clasico in a long time. A very long time. Barcelona went out, didn't they? And Real Madrid is still in. So, yeah. I bet Barca feel like they need to uh, put on a bit of a show. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay, we're back out in the little streetcar. I think... <laughs> oh, God. A little bit hungover. I don't have concrete evidence. Yeah, I'll, I'll assume that's correct. I know you wouldn't lie on the internet, Bactrian. Right. We've got the small little nippier car. We've let go of the uh, six-seater. So we're going to try some of the challenges. But first, we're going to take LX where they need to go. But I'm pretty sure she was. I believe it, Bactrian. I believe it. Uh, okay. Am I? Oh, I'm going the wrong way down a ramp, one way street. I think that's that makes sense. Eight points by Madrid. Wow. What what happened to the other team? Wasn't there another team doing really well, like a minnow? Um, weren't they in the lead for a while? I forget who they are, but I think yeah, people thought there might be like a Leicester City thing happening. Runaway train never going back. I forget how that song goes, but it's a good one. Oh, I think I snuck through while it was uh, still yellow. Yeah, see, the handling of this car is so much better than that fucking bus we've been driving. Oh, 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 Pfft. not sure what happened there. Uh, five points by Barca. Oh, really? Well, I'm, at least I had a go, you know? You love to see, hear about smaller teams giving it a go. Bit of a story for the fans. That's cool. Yeah, I, I imagine, like, squad size and fatigue probably played a part in it, but, yeah. <laughs> this is Spain, Gum Gum. They're very, they're very liberal with their driving in Spain. Right, this is you, Alex. We're on the road. If you're gonna start a drift thing, we'll need some. <laughs> I think we're okay. One more drift, and we'll consider it. Uh, right, Alex, where are we going? Where's the destination? I think if this, I'm trying to think of a, um, like a Fast and Furious title for our community. It'd be probably something like Too Tired, Too Sleepy. Too Tired, Too Fatigued. The Tired and the Sleepy. Plast and the Platurius. <laughs> That's how merchandise is born, Gum Gum. It just takes a renegade like you, you know, to put your hand up, to not be silent, but to say, I am here. I have something to say. Looking forward to tomorrow morning, buying snacks and soda energy drinks for the anniversary stream. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it should be a good one. What snacks are we thinking? Cycle lane potato, you know, it's fine.
again, this is Barcelona, you know. They're not they're not held up on all these rules and regulations. They're a lot more loosey goosey with it, you know. A lot more loosey goosey. You have to get into the mindset of like tapas and uh I don't know, bullfighting? Don't get into the bullfighting mentality. I take that back. I feel like I feel like the um I might reset the game, you know. I don't know. It feels very laggy at the moment. We'll finish Alex's journey, but yeah, the game feels like it's really, really struggling. These are broken ones because they're flashing, so we can go through. If I was if I was the passenger at one stop. Thank God. Thank God Alex is the passenger for this journey. They might have similar feelings. You know, we never know. The AC, Alex. The AC. Which is the AC? Which is the AC? AC. There we go. Okay, good. Another German version. I've heard you can drive rapid there. Are we talking the uh, the autobahn? I think there are no speed limits on the autobahn. We're going to make it to Monday. By the way, both of us always here for you, my friend. I'd like to get a mix of everything. I think we'll see. Yeah, so you're going to make it to Monday. You're going to make it to Monday. Oh, we just got shunted from behind. By a police car, no less. I'm going to get penalised for that. He's beeping me to continue. God damn it. I'm going to get penalised for that. Alex, I'm sorry. That was not my fault. We were shunted. We were shunted. Unbelievable. Wow, that was rude. He's going to sue for whiplash, yeah. I have the hollow bones of a bird. I broke every bone in my body. Oh, are you like, why did you just stop? Why did you, are you brake checking me or something? That was very nearly me crashing into that car. Because they were brake checking me. God damn it. Gosh darn it. Well, he can sue these nuts. It's very rude. Very rude brake checking. Happens a lot in this game. I think it's... I don't know if it's like a bug or something. I don't know if they, like, program that in. It seems a bit harsh, but yeah. Happens quite often. Cars will just stop for no good reason. All right, LX, we're here. LX, safe and sound. Potential whiplash. So, like, that, that wasn't my fault, but... Now, if, if, if I click on triangle and it says small collisions or big collisions, I'm going to freak out. Oh, no small collisions, no big collisions. Okay, at least they didn't penalize me for that. This happens all the time in New, in New Jersey. As I was saying last time we played this game and somebody like walked onto my bonnet and we killed them. Um, it's like Slippin' Jimmy from uh, Better Call Saul. The cars are doing it. The pedestrians are doing it. They're just trying to milk me dry. For everything I have. Perfect drive. 10 out of 5. Would leave you a massive tip. I appreciate it. I'll continue to invest in my uh, fledgling taxi company. I suppose we've got 5 cars now. We're not quite so fledgling after all. I laughed way too much at that. Went into a coughing fit. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm sorry. I, I I don't know what to tell you, Small. I don't know what to tell you. 
Uh, maybe Barcelona is the New Jersey of Europe. Maybe it is. Yeah, we're going to have to ask a few people. Only somewhat fledgling. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Um, one more time. If anybody's thinking, um, if anybody's in need of a mug, if anybody's sick of pouring tea or coffee directly into their hands and getting scalded hands, um, you know, we do have mugs now. We've got ceramic mugs that will protect your hands. You won't get your hands scalded. Um, you can also put things in the mugs that I aren't. once worked with a guy for three years and never learned his name. Best friend I ever had. We still never talk sometimes. We still never talk sometimes. I did say mug, but Austin, I would absolutely hug you 100%. So yeah, if anybody wants to stop getting their hands scalded by hot tea and hot coffee, we now have a selection of mugs that go up to 20 ounces. Uh, if you do exclamation mark mugs. And we, we sold one today and it appeared up here. It actually appeared. It said the thing and did the thing. So yeah, mugs. Uh, 393 euros. Nice, okay. Maybe that will go slightly towards my uh, broken bones. My ruined mental state. Okay. Who is down here? Oh, I tell you what we'll do. We got into the nice car. Should we do a challenge? There might be a speed challenge somewhere. Uh, oh, they're quite far away. I'm not in this part of the town. What about you? Irene Monadero. Let's try you. It might be a speed challenge. We've got the nippy, the nippy car now. Oh, I'll see you, pedestrian. Just don't miss the turning. You say that, there's every chance. Alex, appreciate you being here. I hope it feels better tomorrow. I hope you can move on and uh, start to heal. Um, yeah, we appreciate you. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for being here. Um, have a good weekend. Might see you on Monday. Yeah, the la oh god, the lag is really coming in now. Might have to restart the game after this one. That tends to kind of correct it. Right. Irene, we meet again. Big tip, got it. Just don't kill us, understood. So, go nowhere nice on holidays.
not this one. Is it this one? I think it is this one. Oh god. I fucking did it again. I keep thinking I've got the right one. Oh, maybe this was the right one because this one's a one-way street. Yeah, no, this was the right one. Because I can't come up this because it's a one-way street. Okay, good. How do we do? Three stars. Not great. Don't think it was that good. Yeah, so the last time I did this one, uh, if it's a speedy one, yeah, you're probably right. I think that's what got into my head. I looked at the map and I looked at the orange line. That's what I did the, not the first time, but the second time I got it wrong. I looked at the orange line. So I was going up when I should have gone, when I should have just dri um, driven straight along here. So yeah, I need to remember to uh, just go against the traffic flow for this one. Uh, back. Uh, let's try this one. Manuel, oh, this one's hard. Manuel Delgado. So yeah, when it was coming to the main roads, I was doing well, driving against the traffic, but um, when it comes to these little roads, I don't know what it is, I just, I crumble like a wet cake. If you're going to park there, I'm going to go around you. Right, who might you be? Quick or slow? How do you like it? Oh, this one's a slow one. They're not that far away, actually. Understood. They often say to people, you've got a sweet tooth. With me, they say, you've got a meat tooth. I love meat. Right. Um, I love meat. Is it this one? The next one. No, it is this one. I don't know if it's the marker on the map is just too big. I, I, when these little roads, it always looks like it's pointing at the wrong one. They're highly intelligent hunters. Their eyesight is exceptional. They have powerful tentacles, suckers ringed with 70,000 hooks, and a razor-sharp beak for tearing through flesh. So it's this one? It is this one, okay. I 
think I messed up one thing and it was the speed limits. It's all 30 around here and I think I've been going between 30 and 40 for the most part. Might get lucky though. Three stars. We've got a thousand euro tip. Thousand euro tip. Uh, I also love me. Thousand euros. Uh, oh, here's another challenge right here. Uh, Rafael Ramos. That's not just the tip for that. I mean, if that is just the tip as well, what, what was the rest of it? Uh, so how do I, do I have to reverse out of here? I think I do. That's a shafty bonus. <laughs> it's a very shafty bonus. Ciao, pedestrian. I see you. I see you. Cut off a few, cut across a few lanes, that's fine. Oh, actually, yeah, let's not do it that way. Let's do it the smart way. Let's do it that way. Oh, it's not a speed one. Damn it, I was in the mood for a speed one. Yeah, I was fully expecting to be having to roar off. Oh my, why are you breaking there, dude? Jesus. God. He had no indicators on, I don't think, anyway. I wasn't expecting him to be going that way. I thought he was going to be going straight on. And he did a brake check. Where the fuck is this car heading? <laughs> Mate, you've absolutely fucked yourself there, haven't you?
Are we gonna get, are we gonna get a shafty bonus with this one as well? Five stars. Nine hundred and fourteen euro bonus. That is a shafty bonus as well. I would say. Pretty good driving against the traffic flow. Unfortunate, but not too not too shabby. More challenges down here. Oh, what's this? I this is Irene again. Irene likes to be quick. This could be a speed one. Irene, what have you got for me? I want to go fast. I want to go fast. I want to get that shafty bonus. Ooh, pedestrians. I saw you. I saw you trying. There we go. Irene, where are we going? Yeah. Don't. No, 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 no. Pedestrian, pedestrian, pedestrian. Just don't kill us. God, oh my God, the car is fucking waggling, I swear. Ooh. That was very close. Oh no, it's one way. Fuck, it's all one way. I mean, single lane, not one way. Yeah, most of Barcelona is one way, but single lane. Oh, you're going to need to be faster, dude. Fuck, how am I getting out of here? Right, we're going up the pavement. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I think we rode the pavement pretty effectively there. I can see where we're heading. Oh. How was that? How was that? Good pavement pavement usage should be in our review. Four stars. Oh, it was only 300, a 300 euro tip. It wasn't a particularly long journey though. Mm, I think we're a bit slow. We were 70% uh, of the uh, client patients. Mm, maybe we needed to be a bit, a little bit quicker. Okay, I think on that note. We're gonna raid some of our good friends who've just started streaming again. So if people wouldn't mind hanging out just for a second, just literally 60 seconds of your time. We'll go over and see them. Uh, I will be back on Monday. I don't know what I'm playing on Monday actually. Yet to be determined. Um, 
But yeah, we're just kind of in a holding pattern until Stellar Blade comes out. We will be playing some more Lies of P actually at some point in not too distant future. But yeah, not sure about Monday. Anyway, Tyria, I appreciate you. Anyway, everybody have a good weekend. I hope you enjoyed the relaxation and I'll see you on Monday.